Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. Let's chat. So don't worry, chat. We have we have the soundtrack picked out for probably the rest of the stream. We're on song number 32 out of 163. Then the, apparently there's clapping versions of the same song. There we go. The clapping really sells it. But anyway, uh, we're going to be doing some rare week. So I'm willing to do basically anything as long as people are having a good time. But today is probably the last big day before... You know, boss rares are basically over. So we'll see what people want. I feel like the easy answer to that is Red Ring. But you know, it is what it is when it comes to it. Hopefully we'll end up getting Dengo a uh, Parasitic Gene Flow on stream. We'll see though. So we'll do a little warm up TTF until I feel like we're doing something together as a group. If there's anybody out there that wants to play, let me know. Let's see. Will OBS crash today? Spin the wheel. It has been so bad lately. Okay, it behaved itself this time. I went from literally no crashes in a year and a half to four in two weeks. So their latest, their latest update sucks, chat. I'm actually thinking of downgrading to get rid of the issue. Like, it's still there. It happened to us yesterday. I would like to point out that uh, the Hugh Neural and the Hugh Casile were the same level at one point. But the Hugh Casile has been grinding out TTF. So she's gotten enough, she's gotten almost four raw levels of TTF over the Hunu rule, who's basically only been playing Respective Tomorrow. Which goes to show that I really don't enjoy playing Respective Tomorrow solo. So I just end up playing as a group. TTF, meanwhile, I don't care how many people I do it with. Gonna casually walk over to the counter. Gonna casually spin the stick. There we go. Hold on, let's see if I remember. Oh. Is that not the input? Or did I put the wrong control scheme? No, that works. Why doesn't that work? Hold on, investigating. Huh, weird. Check that again later. There might be something stupid like it doesn't work while I'm in the town. I was expecting to get the forecast. I did actually do the right input, I'm pretty sure. Because I could do the quick menu. Because I was trying to get used to the quick menu setup. But for some reason, this is not working. Gonna do a quick controller check here. That works. Oh, you know what it is. Not a controller issue. He's probably just missing the shortcut, right? Yeah, he's missing the shortcut. Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, hey, I remembered. So my goal is to just get more comfortable with the quick menu location. See if I need to swap it again. Welcome in Parameter. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I think my Hugh Casile and Hugh Neural have the correct setup, but I don't think he does. I'm 
trying to remember what my my setup was from the video. I think it was like forecast party info. Matt count RBR. I think that was my order. It sounds right to me. So let me go ahead and put that in. We're, we're not going for a speed clear. We're just warming up. So this should be party info. I know 100% the up was definitely that. I am fairly certain forecast was to the right. I'm a little less certain that Matt count was the bottom. And RBR by definition has to be this one. I guess I could also just assign the faces if I want to. I always forgot if I did cr crying or angry. I think usually I don't usually do the angry one. I just do the sad one. And then the goodbye. Oh, actually I think I canceled that instead of confirming. Yeah, there we go. Now I can see the values. Horses, Newman's, females. Hopefully you're doing well in Parameter. If there's any rares you're hunting today, let me know. Goal is to help the team as we wake up, do some controls. Today was a brutally long day, but I think I'm good to stream for a couple hours at least. How did that not kill? I was like, wait a minute. Oh, that makes more sense. I was like, wait a minute. That damage looked wrong. See that? I identified the problem. No shifter. Red Ranger Cannon Rouge. Well, good news. I, I would like both as well. It's so early and even beat. If we could get a couple people in, I think maybe we could switch to some Episode 4 Cannon Rouge. I don't know if I want to do a two-man Episode 4. Two-man Red Ring is whatever. I literally do that all the time off stream. I'm like, I'll bring the DPS. Don't worry about that. Although I guess it depends more if uh, you're going for uber rares versus traditional items. Because this character is pretty solid. It's just a character in general to deal with Red Ring. Alternatively, if you're looking for um, Lavis Cannon or kind of those off rares, I was using my Hugh Seal as the one. Oh, I forgot to showcase the safety spot on the raft. I don't think I did that on stream yet. Also, chat, I would just like to state... I did actually dodge the false laser for the first time off stream the other day. Making me dodge. Stupid no invincibility. Alright, chat, how... How dare the game make me actually interact with the boss? <laughs> grumble, grumble. There's the Rafoe, even though the dialogue popped up. Nothing can stop the Rafoe. So yeah, green ID gets V101. It also gets a Psycho 1 chance. That's, again, that's one of the only rares I'm looking for in terms of the Uber category. It'd be nice if I got a Ajito from the Sinnoh Reds by playing Red ID, for example. But I'm not going to go super hard for it. So we're going to go for the laser dodge on stream. 
I think I finally learned what I was doing wrong. I meant to look up what the strategy was after conversation last time, and I didn't end up doing it. But conversation with Tiggy the other day, I th I think it was I was just over adjusting the camera. So I got to do like a lot of little micro adjustments. I don't think I care if I kill the red Sino on green ID now that I think about it. I'm so used to red ID where I just skip it. I mean, I definitely want to kill the Sino blues because I want the V101 as green ID. That much I remember. I don't know if I actually care about Sino red. I mean, I guess he's just another Easter egg chance, I suppose. Don't mind me, just dodging. I like that that looks like that shit hit me, and then it just doesn't. It gets me every time. Okay, no V101s, but hey, we got one on stream the other day for another player by hosting. So that's always fun. Don't mind me, just cannon rouging. Oh, there's too many missiles. You can actually dodge the missiles by turning inwards, but if there's another set next to it, which is I think what happened there, you get hit automatically. Welcome, Edward Nigma. Hope you're doing well. Are there any items you're looking for? We're just doing a little warm-up TTF. And then based off of the needs of the chat, we'll do some runs accordingly. So yeah, we're gonna go for the laser dodge. I I think I understand now what I was doing wrong with it. It's going to take a little while to get like 100% down, but I think I do actually understand what I did wrong this time. And again, it was just like a lot of really subtle updates versus like one really jarring one. I was kind of I was kind of walking like I was walking in a box, but I really do need to follow the ring more carefully. Seriously. Like the only one I don't want to deal with. Stop it. Yeah, see, if you just started with this, you would have died already. Stupid ball. Um. I'll do two spells there. I guess I could have Gafoid. Should have taken my own vice there and just Gafoid. So that way I'd pop enough boxes. Although, I think that only works if I have level 20 Rafoe. Definitely for forces, I need to go Bowie, but maybe with him it doesn't matter. No, I'm not sure he can even reach all the boxes. Uh, that works. Thank you, Yashmanika. <laughs> Man, I use this gun for everything, Chad. This gun is my addiction on Rangers. I use it when I shouldn't, but I love it so much. It's like one of the few times I'll use a Vulcan. That was a bad time to scratch my eye. There we go. Now I can see. No items of interest there, sadly. So we'll go for a little Psycho Wand attempt by killing the Sorcerer in Green ID. I think... Green ID get Heavenly Arms, or is that Viridian? I always confuse the two. Either way, that's all I'm looking to, get up to grab. Chat can correct me what uh, Indie Bellra gets on Green ID specifically. Out of here, Arlen. It's been a while since I've looked up their rares specifically. Wow, that is a two-button kill. That is very silly. <laughs> I'm gonna say, don't mind me, just dodging that. Uh, I'll do a little look up then. Welcome, Daddy, for sure. Hope you're doing well. We are checking drops. 
is every now and then I forget. Green ID is... It is Heavenly Arms. Oh, it's Belra's right arm for Viridian. I was going to say, I felt like it was another arm. Yeah, the Merlins give us uh, spread needles. But sadly... No Merlins. I think I now understand how there's 160 something songs in the soundtrack. There's probably like 90 or 100, but like 50 of them are just clapping versions of the same song. I feel like that's cheating. Uh, did I need to shoot the one in the middle for my normal calculation? I think I did. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I did. I did. If I shot the one in the middle, I wouldn't have uh, needed to rotate back here. It's being kind of an awkward position, as you can see where I'm standing. I was gonna say, Ramar, Ramar, excuse me, Ramar puts this boss down super fast. Holy, listen, he's like my accuracy. I'm landing that special. I don't care. I thought about dodging the laser, but I'm like, that's fine. The boss wants to extend the battle. The boss will extend the battle. So here's an example of where I should not menu. I should immediately use the quick item. So that way I don't lose time damaging the boss. This is where like I switch between using menus and other choices if I'm able to. Unfortunately, I cast the spell there by accident. Did I seriously miss that? That is so sad. Uh, ooh, and I got short cycled. That's just rude. Ooh, give me meter. Actually, I'd appreciate that. Invincibility? Yeah, there we go. Invincibility is huge here, because it just lets me do this over and over. It's potentially big damage. Assuming I stop whiffing. Jeez, game, come on. There, yeah, you want the foe, eh? Oh, I forgot to actually dodge. So yeah, if I started running a little earlier, I could have dodged that. I'm going to do that to dodge the Grant's knockdown. I have to start running a little preemptively, I think, to dodge. I think that's the other thing. Like, don't wait there. And then you could get around. Yeah, there we go. And dodging the Grant's lets me get an extra shot in there. So I can do the normal, which doesn't matter as much. But we'll risk the sacrifice, sacrifice to get the kill. I was ready to face tank it, and I was like, oh, right. If there are people looking to play, let me know. Pop some boxes. 15 minutes with me messing around with the chat command for like a minute. I'll take that. Goal is to mostly get 13 minutes when I play. Anytime I get around 13 minutes with all the optional farms, I'm happy. Oof. Not a single item of interest dropped. Hmm. <laughs> I love to put Ryuk around his quick casts. I mean, I guess it's good that I did that, but... Oh, never resolve what to do with my HP materials. That's unfortunate. 
I knew I forgot something before I started streaming today. Uh, don't think he needs anything in there. Actually, I just want to check something. I'm 99 HP. Mind is pretty close. Mono Grinder is back up to 80, which is good. We're at 52 Photon Drops. I think it was at 36. So I've put in at least 16 since I did the swap out last session. It means I've been getting a decent amount of Photon Drops in there at least. Got a purple mill lily to spawn during that. No, it was sad. I got mill lily while playing red ID. And I'm like, come on. The, one of the only times I went red, red slime, you can't give it to me. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna give me mill lily on red ID? So anyway, so that's how I ended up with the demolition comment. <laughs> it's like, thanks game. It's not the rare I was looking for. Anyway. So I see a parameter waiting here. Is there anybody else that wants to hop in for some TTF? I'm assuming there's some takers. We'll do probably two more, then we'll move on. Uh oh, we had a change of fortune. Oh, droids and females. The game is telling me to play my Huka Seal. I mean, if we get a full party, I could do Huka Seal. Red ID, that's fine. Yeah, this character can put in the work versus the bosses. Does not really care. Yeah, Mill Lily from. Mill Lily spawn sucks. <laughs> So give chat another minute or so. Please let me know. We'll wait if you say something. Otherwise, we'll get started in a moment. It was Anguish too. Welcome, Edward Enigma. We have one more free slot for anybody looking to come in. So yeah, we'll do a couple TTFs, maybe back into episode 4. We'll go for that Red Ring Cannon Rouge mix. I'm not looking to play Pew Pew Laser into it unless you want to in Parameter. Pew Pew Laser for me is fine. It's just I have to be going mostly for pod runs if I want a Pew Pew Laser. At the moment, I don't feel like doing pod runs. For Team Geo. Nice, nice. Yeah, this character's seeing nothing but yellow for the stats, so I'm like, I can't really get too much stronger there. But technically could get some S ranks to speed things up. I like that he has more than 100% accuracy to land a heavy attacks. Just goes to show, Romar does not care. Well done, draw. Nice. Goodbye, dragon. Yeah, green ID has small chances of cycle wand. If things go well, I could technically do Huka Seal, as I said before. Huka Seal's damage is pretty good. Technically more than Ramar's. Although his weapon selection means he does better. A little angry stomps.
Yeah, Red ID leads to slime duping, so it's technically more badges and XP to play Red ID. I'm thinking about it. I'll probably swap after this one. by Lilies. Wow, that was actually a murder. Okay, so goal number one, show the safe spot on the raft in this run. Goal number two, if targeted by laser, dodge the false laser. So it's kind of like saying oh, almost dead center along the arena and just making little like micro turns. Like see how I'm like moving the camera? Doing that makes it easier to dodge, and you can tell you're doing it wrong if... if... the laser ever ends up dead in front of you, because it will reorient as it goes along, sadly. So I need to clear basically half of the arena for it. It's a little more risky to do in multiplayer, because you might hit other players, but... Oh, nice slime dupes. Okay, can I please get invincibility? Or actually, even if I don't get invincibility, it's fine. We'll, we'll showcase where to go regardless. So if we literally just walk to the other end of the raft and touch the edge, uh, we will not get struck. Yeah, like right there-ish. So we have in parameter standing exactly where to go. Thank you in parameter for being the guide for the visuals. But for the most part, it's, it's player one, you literally just hold forward. But there's a, there's a whole gap there where you, you have you a decent amount of leniency over there, actually. Surprisingly. But hey, we'll take the leniency. Oh, I'm killing these guild chicks with confuse traps later. I can already feel it. No mercying them. Look at that damage. I just feel like when I do the normal power, it has better burst than Vulcan. Or not Vulcan. It does better burst than Heaven Striker, unless I'm sacking with Heaven Striker. It's just so strong. How long am I going to be streaming today? I don't know. That depends on how awake I am in about two hours. It's a good question. I just don't know. It's purely based off of how tired I am. Why are you looking to hit 80 today to join in? We could always assist you with a run or something for XP. Goodbye, Sinnoh Run. Out of here, Sinnoh Blue. Yeah. So here's another room for all you force players out there. Using the menu to stack Gofoe here is disgustingly good. If you're playing double force and both of you are menu stacking with like near max Fo Newman, you can outright kill these before they do anything. Because they take a uh, stack Gofoe damage. It actually makes a pretty significant difference. I could be in trouble here. Let's find out. That's fine. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that. Away we go. <laughs> Heal people as they go in. We'll be able to hop on for another hour. Oh, yeah, we'll definitely be going at least an hour. Don't worry about that. Yeah, we just started the stream, so we'll be going for a while. I thought you meant more like if we were going to, like, midnight or something. I'd be like, I don't know. We'll see.
Just be aware, it's a two monitor setup, so you have to look out for the turrets. Almost killed it in time. No, it's not necessary, but I love shooting it when it's exploding. <laughs> it builds you meter. I don't really need meter with three players. Yeah, sadly, force techs don't really do any damage to this boss. I wish Rafoe hit the multiple parts. That's what makes me sad whenever I play. A 55 hit TP ray gun. Maybe there's a niche use for that. <laughs> Maybe. I'll oh, sell cleave later. Some people get these items. Wait, where is it? Oh, is it oh it was right next to me? Wait, I only see wait, I only see three weapons. How does that work? Or is it on the previous floor? If so, that kind of sucks. Because that was the laser, there was the ripper, this was... Oh, it's a ripper, my bad, not Raygun. Never mind, that makes more sense. Nope, sadly says Hellcleave. It's all for naught anyway, it's just a ripper. I thought unfortunately that was a Raygun, because I saw the R, my brain stopped reading the rest of the word. But hopefully you're doing well, Hellcleave. Doing a couple TTF and then we'll probably switch over to episode 4 Cannon Rouge stuff. <laughs> I will be the decoy. Yeah, sadly, player one will not reach the monument first, so I technically don't have to do anything if all I want to do is activate the boss. Technically, all the other players are closer. Okay, team went for that one. Let me go for the side ones then. Glad you've been well, Hulkly. I saw Tiki got his first uh, PD during falls. I was gonna say, I got my first Easter egg during falls off stream. Does that count? <laughs> That's a bit more of a limited time window. But yeah, I've, I've gotten several PDs at this point from falls. I even got luck material before, which shows up red, which is also mean. All of those are mean. Discriminatory chant. One day will falls give the real rares. Also, that damage though, GG. Goodbye, my HP. I sacrificed you to the heavens. Ooh, I landed the hit. Nice. Uh, it's a bit risky to do, but I'll go this way. Safety heal. Ooh, we gotta go along the side here. I don't think I have a choice. I can't run after you grab a mag off me. Oh no. Poor Tiggy. I'm glad you got a mag though. Congratulations to Tiggy for getting a mag. Go ahead, take a swing at me. I'll give a little update to Pasho in a second. 
That was some big damage. Oh, he's just this falls is just straight up dead. Holy. Watch your video on add-ons, follow the steps to download item finder, and it still isn't popping on the add-ons sidebar at the login. Can anyone just show this this? Uh where did you install the item finder? Ooh, nice kill. GG indeed. Add on under PSO. Did you unzip it properly? I'm going to do the quick search. Because there is an add-ons folder for PSO. It needs to literally be in there. Yeah, like when you do it, it should say like core add-on list, core log, core main menu, custom DLL, spawn item reader, kill counter. If it if it's nested another layer deep, that's probably the issue. Yeah. I just literally opened up mine just to double check. And that's it. All you just have to do is change that. You should be good to go. Otherwise, it's automatic. It'll it'll complain to you if you need something else. Um, the other the only other thing is if you didn't do the C plus plus distributable. That's the only other thing that usually throws people off. So I think in the YouTube video, I link that. I also have instructions on the Discord for people looking to follow along. They're not too different when it comes to that. And that has my uh, map items. Only shows up on load and the log has errors. Did you download the distributable? Because the, the thing will not work without the distributable. I think that's, if you get it to appear, but then it has errors, that's usually the reason. Otherwise, I would check what the lo what the error message actually is in the log. Hellcleave has arrived. Time to deploy Hellcleave. Just switch into this real quick. So I'm gonna do some uh, slime duping. Just so, so Timo was aware, I'm not going for any any clears and caves. It's purely gonna be slime duping. Yeah, I forget if it'll ask you to download other distributables from there since it's been a very long time since I did it for this laptop. But generally, if you provide the one that was in the link, it should work. Okay, I gotta drain my HP. It's not enough HP. That's good enough. Just want to make sure I can use Dark Flow. I didn't bring a gear soul, so I gotta make sure I actually drain my HP properly. How Cleve and I live in the rainbow baton life. Is that a flight of the bumblebee that I hear? Sounds like it. I mean, I guess that's somewhat appropriate for Dragon. And slap. Uh, no, you don't need to down. You, as long as you run it, it should do what it needs to do. If you didn't run it, that would be one.
Oh, uh, no worries. That, that's probably the issue then. Glad we could get that resolved, potentially. Come to me, slime. Fire trap awaits you. Oh no, don't chase the- No! Team's in the middle. I want to dupe. Yeah, there we go. Dupe in time. Come on, get PDs for the group. Oh, GG. Only four slimes. We gotta do better than that in the next room. Yeah. I don't remember if I used the word run the distributable in my video, to be honest. I know I talked about downloading and making sure you have it installed, I think, but I don't think I explicitly told you to run it. So I'll, I'll try to update the YouTube description to be clear. One, two, three, if it doesn't use that language. Okay, deep in time. Yeah, give us more slimes. Oh. Wait, literally everybody came here? That doesn't work. Chat trolling. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like I was doing PSO math. Four people, one room, something went wrong. <laughs> it's brought in by the Geo. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. No worries. I was gonna say, I can barely, I'm barely coherent some days. It happens. <laughs> okay, so let's go for the, oh, I have invincibility again. Well, Chan is just gonna have to trust me. As long as you touch the far side of the raft, you should generally be fine. Right here. I'll cleave and I are going in. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my god. Double Jaya. You're so gross. <laughs> oh, this should level me, hopefully. This character needs to hit 180 immediately. There we go. Levels matter. I'm not at max MS... Or not at max ATP. Alright, so here I'm going to do a little bit of trolling. So, normally you go forward and fight those... I got something more fun. I'm just gonna have them confuse themselves to death. Fight for my amusement. We'll clean up some enemies. The fact that he shot me while confused makes me so sad. So anyway, we just need to make sure we're vaguely moving on with the team. So I'm going for extra PDs, extra event X. So by the time they kill the Cannabin, I should be able to just run through without really losing any time. And technically, I could even kill a single cannabin if I want to. Though it might be better for me to do this. Put a couple confused traps down. Oh, team was a little further than I thought. Somebody must have been right at the door. That's fine. We don't really care about the drops here. It's just Sinnoh Blue. I mean, unless you want Kasami Bracer. I'm pretty sure that's what it is in Red ID. It's not quite as exciting as Green ID. No, oh, we do so much damage. I might as well just kill the Barans. <laughs> as long as I have like one other ATP with me, I'm like, yeah, I'll just kill him. It's fine. So I'll try to slow down the monitor since I'm starting at his Yuka seal. And then we'll, we'll lean uh, in Parameter to take over. Yeah, I'm happy this character got another level. So many TTFs this week. I'm actually worried I have too much HP now and die instantly to Fireball, but we'll see. Because at least my ATP is fairly high. Oh, the thing already died. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, why am I shooting the monitor? I thought it was shooting the, the turret. And then I was like, oh right, hell cleave damage. That checks out. <laughs> that that last time I did not intend to shoot the monitor. Uh, we'll use Vivian. 
I don't, I don't really have like, I should bring a Disco Brave Man here. But I'd like the Vivian damage over my other options at least. Jaya, maybe. It really just depends on how the ball seems. Yeah, like there, I don't think I get a good Jaya. Oh, how Cleave got freed by the Rifoli. Nice. Mine material. And I did learn that with Freeze Traps, I could actually do the melee setup with Vivian. Vivian's actually pretty good in multiplayer versus Darkbringer. Does so much damage. So I gotta learn to be a bit more brave with melee weapons. I guess is by what I've learned. Murder the guy for some quick XP and badge chances. So we still get another cycle one chance here, which is good. I'm gonna put down a freeze trap. <sighs> Got bodied. Ooh, there we go. Nice little dodges. So we got a telepipe down. I'm a level 63 in Walmart. What gear should I have at this point in for the first time character? Uh, that is a hard question to answer. Are you trading at all for items? If you're not trading for items, you won't really have anything. I would say for the most part, it doesn't matter. If you got a decent hit charge arm equivalency slash shotgun, probably good. Ranger Wall is one you could pick up regardless. I don't think there's too much you could pick up in very hard mode for ranger i mean normally it's just kind of like if you don't have like the charge arm equivalency you'd probably have something like a crush bullet by now just for more damage eventually you'll be subbing that out with uh end game gear as long as you're not literally using basic stuff with no hit rares will suffice yeah so final shot's a good example yeah like, it'll get you there. Some people got, like, the, uh... Walt MK Sniper, or whatever it's called. Oh, 50 hit's actually really good. But eventually, you'll you'll upgrade that for uh, things like Charge Arms, because even though it's a normal weapon, it having a really good special is, like, make or break. Um... I don't think there's too much you could do in just very hard mode, unless you were doing a lot of photon crystal shenanigans, which I don't super recommend. Like, they're good, don't get me wrong. You could play very hard mode and normal mode for things like Last Swan if you really wanted to. But as like your first time character, you're probably not gonna have access to that. Like, in theory, if you had a lot of Photon Crystals from playing Force and you were bored, you could get the gun I'm using now, which is the last one. But it's not something a first-time Ranger will pick up, if that makes sense. Otherwise, most of your techniques will end up getting picked up really early on in Forest. So you'll get a lot of your 15s and 20s out of the way, regardless if you're Ramar or Ramarl. And that boss died instantly. Um. Yeah, I think that's basically it. I mean, if you could find like a hit Vulcan or something, it's okay. Welcome, Dango. Forces have a lot more relevant gear in the lower difficulties, so if you pick up like the elemental scepters, that's pretty good. Or potentially farming the barriers if you're willing to take it slower. Like, those are items that are actually worth spending time on. See, we got a 40 hit arm with no special. I'm so sad. I'll cleave this has been happening all week. I'm so sad. Yeah, you'll probably have like a wall or a mark something that has like the lesser version of demon. And that's okay. You, you know, use what you can. I would say for the most part, 
don't worry about it too much. Like, a lot of that gear you're going to upgrade immediately. So, I'm not sure what ID you're playing. But, like, literally in Forest, you'll get Frozen Shooter. And that'll be, like, your end-all, be-all utility sniper. Oh, we got S-Rank? Wow. I haven't gotten S-Rank in so long. <laughs> I'm so used to just getting A-Rank and disappointing him. Like, it's been bad besides the 5-egg rolls. Oof. Yeah, there's potentially some good Easter drops. I just don't recall what the list is offhand. So some people will be doing the five egg gambles. And that will generally get players off to a really strong start if you're willing to gamble it. But sadly, the eggs are a bit more rare. We'll do uh, two more TTF in episode four, maybe. And then probably have an oops all force <laughs> or nearly oops all force equivalency. I'm enjoying going for what we're going for at the moment. Oh, your green ID? Yeah, green ID's got some good choices in particular. I do like green ID. Being able to get your own Cannon Rouge in Episode 4 is kind of huge. Plus Heaven Striker. So if you're more of a self-found for first-time player, it does give a lot. It even has Red Ring. So they, it's very easy to level them and very easy to bring them into other things. I think they're okay, too, in Episode 2. So there's not really, like, a super bad spot for them. Maybe in certain areas it'll be slightly worse, but at least you could say, hey, I could go for my own V502 my own way if I really wanted to. I don't know if I'd recommend it over some of the tower rare versions of V502, but technically it exists. That doesn't as does you is better for me to get the one egg or the five egg. Yeah, I, I would have to look at the list. I haven't looked in a while. It updates every year. So I could not answer that question for you. If you were to literally put all the items in the chat, then I would tell you which ones would be interesting from that list. That I can do. <laughs> but I haven't looked at the gamble list at all because I haven't gambled Easter eggs pretty much at all. I think I did a couple of 10 egg gambles last year. And that was it. It was a very uneventful gamble. Nice of NA. Also, I forgot to drain my HP. That's fine. Hellcleave will cover me. You DM'd me the post, says Hellcleave. Okay, I'll take a look in a moment then. When the dragon gets up, I'm going to open it up. I just want to make sure I don't miss my timing to insta-kill. I'm just doing slime duping, so it's like I don't really matter in the next area at all. Oh, I thought for sure that was the right timing. Well, that was pretty fast. All right, let's see. What did I get? I'll cleave has sent. Oh, you sent me the thread. Oh, that that's, that's not what I want. <laughs> Uh, so now I gotta scroll and do things. Okay, level one clear. Okay, so looking at this list. Oh, it's too late now. I already I had to open it. <laughs> it's like I can't see what it was offhand. So let's see. Easter eggs. I mean, obviously that's more of the failure result for one arm. God arm, god power. Okay, they're okay. I'm not sure I would go like super crazy on them, but technically if you got them, it's better than nothing. I don't super care for the DB Saber armor shield combos, but technically they exist. Flow and Sword is more for hunters, Flow and Frame shields. Of course we get the Rare Lily. Where is Rare Lily? I'm just gonna kill you for Demolition Comet, how's that? Oh, excuse me, it's Cure Poison. Well, I guess if I really want it done, I'll kill that thing out of spite. Oh, uh, let's see what else. Rabbit Wand is more for, I guess, accessories. It's not something you'll ever get as a force on purpose. Custom Ray is not really worth it. Visible Guard is okay. Sacred Guard is okay. 
I never use the supportive merges. So sadly, like rest of anti, I don't really use. Some people do. I've literally never used it. God battle's fine. Heavenly battle's really good, and V501 is really good for new players from that list. Oh. Chat be duping. So it's just kind of an okay list. I mean, some of the ones towards the bottom are definitely very interesting. Only three slots right now. See, the trick is, when you play high level, you find a frame, like literally level one frame, make sure it has four slots, and then that's all you use <laughs> while you're leveling. Your defense doesn't matter. Once you're really well geared, defense doesn't matter. Let's see what the five egg gamble is. I could not reach the safety spot in time. I was close. I tried really hard, I promise you. MN60 Vice with potentially 15 to 30 hit. That's pretty good for new players. Giant with 15 to 30 hits, good for new players. Vice is more universally good, where uh, Jaya, we can see we're using it on the Hunter currently. Uh, Brave Hammer is used in the clearest deals, but by itself it's not that exciting of an item. Final Impact, I guess it's fine for new players. Not something I'll want over some of the other choices. Another Rabbit Wand. Oh, they get Kamui? That's kind of funny. Kamui's decent, Musashi's decent. How did they both not die? Okay, there we go. Uh, Red Sword, pretty good pickup for Hunters. Spread Needle, endgame item, absolutely. Departs 101, absolutely, endgame item. Ignition Cloak for Forces, endgame item. Blue Adoshi, Violet Nibidao, uh, potentially endgame item. More for uh, Hue Neurals than other characters, but technically you could do others. Heavenly HP is really good, Centurion Ability is good for new players. Heart of Morellian is a cosmetic item, so whatever. Bardo level 30, nice. Uh, the memo is also another mag item. Not that relevant. Then V801 is good for basically every character in the game if you're going versus Vol Op. Otherwise, forces mostly only. Safety Heart is good for Fomorals. Uh, Stealth Suit, I think, is also fine. So yeah, definitely a lot of really solid prizes, honestly, in the 5 egg. The only downside is you have a 50% chance of success, honestly. Otherwise, it's pretty loaded. Yeah, things like add slots are really easy to come across. Only a lot... Oh, yeah, yeah, interesting. So, add slots are fortunately not super hard to get. It just requires you playing certain areas or getting them as box rares. Like, when we play Blue ID, for example, uh, we super do not care about add slots. We get those playing normal and hard mode while leveling new players. Episode 4 kind of busted. That's why I kind of think Forces might be one of the better starts of the game. I'm kind of thinking about it. Like, I do like Ramarl first. Because she's able to kind of do everything solo start to finish. Only downside is her stats are slightly lower. Technically, if your gear isn't great, I guess Humar wouldn't be the worst start either. Because at least he has debuff. Debuff is the thing that's important. That basically determines how much trouble you're going to have when you get into ultimate. And then eventually it's more about the shifter. Once your gear gets better. Bosses, of course, will still like to be debuffed. Goodbye, Darkbringer. We'll wait a little bit here. There we go. Responsible gaming.
Okay, I couldn't get as much slime duping as I was hoping for, so I just killed some extra Arlins. So why not? I'm preemptively moving towards the Indie Bell Run. Yeah, there's actually a surprising number of items in the 5A Gambles. I was gonna say Hulk Leave. You you don't you don't restrict your items based off a of hit percentage. I don't even look. That's crazy, especially doing box runs. I'm not sorting through all those items visually. Yeah, I just put minimum percentage as 40. And if it's if it's anything other than that, I don't care. I'm not really gonna roll for like a 30 upgraded to 40, to be honest. I don't think I care enough for that. I'd rather just have the better item. Okay, yeah, so let's move to the far side again. Yeah, ad slots are super easy to get between badges, like just getting bronze badges and anniversary event. Low difficulty runs on episode 4 where, like, hilariously everything gives that slot. If you ever have any interest in playing Force, oh my gosh, please play episode 4. Don't, don't do, like, episode 2 and suffer. Can't for rares, though? I mean, with the item reader, you could tell it to always show, regardless, for rares. That's not an issue. I still see all rare weapons, if that's what you mean. Oh, 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 you mean like a hit percentage on the rare. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if there's a way to restrict the rare in that sense. That's fair. Do some normal shots. I wasn't sure who it was centered on. I guess incorrectly. <laughs> I think it was centered on me. Ooh, full screen. That kind of sucks. There we go. Just had to shoot through the spinners there. After watching your speed level runs, I'm going forced for a second character. I mean, like, literally, with a mind mag and basic techs, for like 10 PDs, you can get a character to like level 80 in like one try. It's kind of insane. Mostly just the mind mag. <laughs> like, a, a Gafoe technique, and you're all good. Ooh, almost got the kill. Oh, never mind. GG. Yeah, especially the Halloween cookie one. Sadly, I don't think a lot of people saw the Halloween cookie one. That one was actually broken. That run was the most busted. I think people have seen, like, how to power level of force. And I think that was, like, the first one I ever did. I don't think people saw the Halloween cookie one. That one was disgusting. GG. We'll do one more and we'll switch to episode 4, I think. I took a screenshot because I couldn't believe how short of a time that took. Yeah, when your journey to level 80 is measured in less than 3 hours, it's like, what a... What a, what a good set of runs. <laughs> so silly. Rip our S rank. Alright, okay, there we go. There's the disappointment I expect from him. Wait, I went money positive while using Jaya? Oh. I guess the boss did die that quickly. So, last red ring for now. Doesn't mean we won't do some at the end of the night. But I think we'll switch over. I think a green ID boss 
I kind of want a Galatine, potentially. So we'll probably do a couple of boss ones. Unless we just want to strictly do Heaven Striker runs, which is like, okay. Yeah, I could bring in... If I do Red ID, we could go for Cannon Rouge Surface. Although that'll give up Galatine. Oh well. It's for the chat. Yeah, Force is pretty bonkers. Maybe maybe I'll try to do a uh, Hell Needle run and compare with Ranger. I mean, I don't think it's going to top the Halloween quest, to be honest with you, but it's interesting for anything else. I think I made Hell Cleave. Chat in the attack box. Just let you borrow them to see it. Technically. I guess it would just be solo V502 Hell Needle double heavenly arm so I can use the gun, I would assume. Welcome RJ Chaos, hope you're doing well. In that run, did they even reset at all, or did they just clear to, like, tower? I'm just curious. I don't pay attention to EDK. I'm assuming they reset at some point in that run. <laughs> Guess rest so on you. That would tilt Tiggy off the planet, face of the planet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just curious where the reset was, because I imagine the tower enemy EDK is, like, stupid, impossible once you go past anything above normal. Just due to them being mini-bosses. Oh, I saw Telth Flicker, but it didn't quite go down. That is a heal and runaway time. Hey, that only did 40 damage to me. That did surprisingly little. I was expecting way worse stomp damage. Power Material, Escape Doll. I should probably pick up the Power Material. Set up our fire trap combo by doing three normal attacks. Try to pull the slime towards us. Ooh, I need it to follow me more. Come over here. Yes. Now perish. I got an event egg from it. So at least we can show that there is a purpose to doing that. I was gonna say, I want nothing to do with this room. That's up to chat. Yeah, chat might as well split up and get as many kills as they can. Okay. So I think between Rabarda from Force and my Fire Traps, we should be good. So I'm gonna lure them into a group here. It's duping time. Hmm. There we go. Lots of material chances. There we go. I wanted to join in. <laughs> Alright, this time I was holding forward at the beginning, so I should reach the safety spot, although I have invincibility again. Last time I was just a little short, because I wasn't holding forward at the start. Okay, it's Jaya time.
<laughs> oh, no wonder why I went money neutral. That makes sense. <laughs> I only got two specials out with Jaya. I saw that 3.5 damage from uh, Hellcleave there. So yeah, we're going to do our best to kind of get some extra kills here. Ooh, Zalore there's a good addition. So they should punch themselves out real quick. So I'm just here to kind of clean up. Let's go catch up with the team. Wow, that one got deleted. That guy got hard focused. Avenic. Wait, from where? In this room? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's from the other room? Are you serious? That's the only downside. If people were killing the cannabins, I wasn't sure. I think that means the event egg was back here. Damn, I gotta go back. You're on your own team. I'm not leaving that Easter egg behind. I'm surprised they just deleted themselves that quickly. Honestly, wasn't expecting a single kill there. Our material dropped. Uh, I think I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna walk to get the power material, but we'll see where it goes from there. I I know the telepipe is up. I want the power material. Oh, did you leave Boparans there? Oh. Oh, you should have told me that team. I don't have a telepipe, so that'll be fun. Hmm, we're gonna go like this. Don't mind me. Rip. Yeah, I do want some power materials. I gotta restock for later. I think it was definitely worth going back for the event egg, though. Another like a mini PD. Yeah, unfortunately with the event egg, I don't really have a lot of room for other items. So unless I get rid of my double scape doll, I can't hold telepipes. Rip out cleave. Be in time for sure. No worries, it happens. The important thing is you take your, your uh, revenge on phase two. That was fast. I got enough time to get two combos in. I'll cleave delete those. A little extra damage for Hulk cleave there. Clear the path for Hulk cleave. There we go. I'm gonna say the game will let me target my intended target at some point. Why did I get hit? I wasn't moving. Game, please. That messes me up. Thanks, game. I feel like that's a little unfair. Like, I did, like, a sideways movement. Should not count. Oh, I thought team was going to shoot it as well. That's awkward. <sighs> That's super unfortunate. Oh, 
monocycle wand. Pick up the HP material though. I forget, our Darkbringer is actually worth killing on this ID. Monkey King Bar, eh. Eh. Oh, oh, green ID. Yeah, yeah, it would be Spread Needle and Red, my bad. Eh, maybe. Yeah, I was like torn between that. I don't, I didn't think they were the bringer's arm. So I was like, maybe it was that one, but that was green ID. So I guess if you're trying to get spread needle chances and you're playing for the first time, I guess it's not bad to farm those. We have gotten spread needles before in CTF without farming those as we get that one dark bringer kill in the first room. So technically it can happen. Just get lucky. Yeah, I might put a escaped all away so I can hold telepipes or something. When I go to do multiplayer. When I play two man, I don't usually go for that. I got punished for the greed. Normally the guild chicks don't drop anything other than just war XP. rid of you. Nicely done. So yeah, we'll be switching over to episode 4. Some bosses. Probably bring in a faux neural. Ooh, my aiming is terrible. There we go. Now I'm assisting. Because if she holds his red ID, she'll be the right one. I mean, technically, I could bring my Huka seal into episode 4. Technically. I just don't prefer her versus bosses, that's all. Yeah, that boss feels kind of terrible to do as Hunter. If it wasn't a boss quest, I'd probably do it. Oh, you're so done, Falls. Goodbye. So there we go, I got like almost halfway to the next level. So once she hits 180, she's gonna get way more defense, which is important for her solo play. And more importantly, 10 more accuracy for single and multiplayer. Cause I'm only getting 15 accuracy from her shield. And that means my Hugh cast can get a nice little upgrade. And also her resistances won't be utter trash. That's also a nice bonus. Oh, actually gonna die to Rafoe? Oh, got Rafoe to death. GG. That's embarrassing for Pulse. Even the multiplayer resistance was not enough. Okay, time for some episode four. Droids, females. At least I'll get the bonus roll bonus. Yeah, generally the game will get, well, not every episode, but some episodes will get more for multiplayer versus single. And you'll see more XP if it's like an enemy kills it versus an ally kills it versus you kill it. But it's not like a blanket answer. I think for the most part, episode four does not care about that, for example. We're up to 54 photon drops, 27 of NX. So it went from 0 to 27 this event so far. It's not bad. Given I basically only farm them on stream, it's not bad. They very rarely drop when I play some uh, TTF on this character.
I wasn't sure if anybody wanted to do the RBR before it swapped. Speak now or forever hold your peace. I'm not as interested in Endless Nightmare 3. Tower, I could see if people wanted to be 502. I'm willing to do like a tower. The surface new mop up operation 2 isn't bad, but I think I will. I don't know. I mean, at minimum, I'm going to do some boss rush first, and then we can talk about it from there. I did have fun with Red ID with this character there. We'll take a little break. This character is very slowly getting closer to a red ring in theory. Not that I have anything worth using on this character with Red Ring. So we'll do a couple bosses. And then maybe we'll do RBR afterwards. We'll go at least until this character levels. I think we'll be three. Yeah, she's already set up for this, which is nice. This. No, it's a request, okay. Uh, don't need those. Got the Rebarta merge. Let's swap it over. Double add up for sure. The ignition cloak, just need the Gafoe Rafoe. Then maybe we'll do some surface episode four. That's always fun. The RBR. And if chat wants to do tower after that, that's up to chat. That requires more of a commitment for sure. Uh, where are my shields? Uh oh. Then I put them back. Who has them? Hmm. That is annoying. Unless I put them in here by accident. I mean, I can always bring a three seals for the boss, but I really need the Rapoe Gapoe. One second, chat. I don't remember who I played last with them. Is it my purple ID character? One second. That's it. Trying to do the character reader. Before we merge, who has it? Okay, it is my purple lady. Let me go grab that real quick, actually. I don't think I want to do quests without that. That's a pretty big damage loss, given how long the quest is. I think it's worth resetting for that. Like, that will literally stop me from getting kills on Marissa's due to doing, like, 30% plus less damage. We'll grab that real quick, and we'll make again. Yeah, I have a Gafoe merge, I think, sitting on uh, one of my other characters. I guess I could take it off. It's also My other spare one is on my Fomoral, which is fine. Don't need that right now. The little wiggles there. I'm surprised I had enough add-ups to still do double add-up there. That's kind of funny. Oh. Oh, maybe because he had one on him already. That's fair. Hmm. Okay. 
Let's swap back in. Yeah, the tower quest wasn't terrible. I like the first half of the quest more than the second half. I just think there's a couple of problem spawns that make me a little sad. It's something I'll do every now and then, but it's not going to be something I, like, grind out, I think. And surface on the other quest might be okay for red ID, maybe? Okay, let's make another game. Fortunately, this quest is stupid good for XP. So for people looking to level, this is the quest to do. We're going to do Magical Piece. We're going to go get our Barda. Actually, we have our Barda already. We're going to go get our Foeys. Somebody found Parasite's Gene Flow. Nice, nice. Yeah, I think I'll leave it on Gafoe Merge, Magical Piece. That's a pretty good combo. Again, her defense is awful. Like, I have Adept Centurion on. Double Adept Centurion. She's barely at 330. It's so bad. It's so bad. Oh, man. So she's going to get absolutely bodied by all the Goron Detonators. Ooh, Hellcleave opting to bring in Pew Pew Laser. Well, it's still even beat. Respect for that. Good luck. I'm gonna wait a little bit so that they don't spook. See, we uh, I can tell we don't have like a hunter or a ranger there. When the Babuda lives for more than a second, there's no uh, Vulcans being used. And because we're stacking Gafoe, these enemies should just die instantly. Let our team do the other damage. Yeah, look at that. Done. The Storfont's about to take a million damage. Hellcleave getting ever closer to the 180. Yeah, the XP on this quest is like so, so, so good. I think this is another example where it's better for me to just get Bowie stack and let the other team members kill it. I think the rule when you play with multiple forces is somebody is always on Gafoe duty. And then it's optional. One other person could do Gafoe duty, but somebody will probably need to do elements. My damage is okay. But if my stack Gafoe lingers, it does some big damage like this. And since I'm using the quick cast method for this, it's pretty good. So we know it's going to be Dwarfon after uh, the Astarchs here. So we're going to go ahead and freeze them. Mac into Gafoe stacking. There should be a lot of damage being dealt to them over time. I was gonna say, once the demons was out, we get his Foley. Kind of the small change. Like, Grants is really good, and definitely if you're like Fomar, it's better to Grants than Foley. But when you're Fonu roll, the Foley damage boost with the speed is very useful for cleaning up after demons. I did not bring that many fluids. Hmm. Five. Is that good enough to last the quest? Let's find out. Well, 
will definitely freeze. Let the team focus on that damage. I'm gonna go back to stacking. Okay, yeah, this should be big damage. Look at that damage, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we know it's gonna be two really bad waves back to back, so there's no point to keep always stacking here. So we can use the knowledge of the quest to swap what we're doing, because we know it's gonna be the awful, awful Babuda wave. So this time it's like full on, we need to just help with this. Now we could go back to stacking. Yeah, we don't really want them to run amok if we can avoid it. Big damage time, love it. We did a pretty significant amount of damage to them, which is nice. <laughs> Fully time, there we go. <laughs> pew pew. Got a die fluid, nice. Ooh, die grinder, I want one of those. So yeah, I think right now I have enough for one S rank in the share bag. So I think me collecting the grinders is very gradually pay paying itself off. Also, at some point I do have to hand in the tickets for this, which will probably give me a bunch of grinders as well. Oh, oops, I miscounted the waves. That's fine, we'll do a couple zaps here. Anyway, back to Gafoe stacking, which will kill everything near me. Got him. It also does okay damage versus the guys weak to ice. Kill you real quick. Excellent. So now once it's the Astarks, we're gonna go flee to the side. A little bit of time before that though. Photon Crystal, congratulations. Okay, time to run. So I wanna make sure not to Kofoe here. I want them to get close. So I'm gonna wait a little bit. I'll try to time the Gufoe though. Oh, Photon Drop, I need that later. And dead. Uh, okay. Come back. Gufoe. That's fine. Oh, pretty well. fluids for later. Oh, Cannon Rouge, congratulations. I was gonna say, that was fast. Did it come with any hit percentage? Ooh, zero, that's sad. Uh, since I'm in the front, I need a Gafoe. <laughs> Back to Gafoe stacking. The beautiful, beautiful world of Gafoe stacking. Uh, we're gonna debuff. Do a little bit here, then back to Gafoe stacking. We're gonna believe in the team. Look at that damage. Yeah, I think I needed to be a little more centered. There we go. That killed him a lot faster. Alright, so we know the Marissa wave is after this. We'll slow them down with Gafoe. Team will either Barda or Grant, depending what character type they are. And yeah, we're gonna make sure these Marissas die instantly. I don't want to see them do anything. GG. Rangers. Pew Pew Laser Rangers do not want to see them either. So if we hardcore handle them, that's fine. 
And there's technically Marissa's after these zoos, so if I could do a little damage leading into them, that would be good. So we're just gonna keep stacking. Yeah, there we go. That'll be some big damage to them, GG. Ooh, excellent. A Trifluid is most appreciated here. So I paid for my surface TP already, and I have backup die fluids. That's pretty good. So I'm feeling pretty good for fluids. So we're gonna go a little forward beyond this group, because we know there's the double Goron detonator. So if we center ourselves, we should be good. So we're going to weaken them up a little bit, but we know we need to get Bowie stack here because we know it's going to be Marissa's in the middle. Well, they help push me towards the middle. I'll kind of them to assist. And I'm going to assist by killing these Marissa's nearly instantly. That's what my assistance is. <laughs> Goodbye. And because we're roughly centered, the Pyro Gorons can also walk into our fireballs. So we are very gradually chipping them out. As long as I'm not too close to their spawn, we could rack up a lot of damage. I'm going to slightly reposition to be more in the center. There we go. That way they die a little quicker. Oh, these Rappies are ultra dead. GG. Okay, so with that, we're just going to debuff. Benek, congratulations. You're lingering Gafoe. How am I doing in terms of materials? Not bad. Not a bad amount of fluids, too. Oh, wait, what? Three of them dodged the fireball? That's unfortunate. Anyway. Let's weaken them a little bit for the team. There we go. Back to Kafoe stacking. <laughs> we kind of got to get a feel for our damage, because there's no sense in stacking too early in case the enemy waves don't die. Nice. These fireballs should slow them down significantly. Back to Kafoe stacking. Ooh, I was a little too close to them. That's fine. Make up for it here. Couple of freezes. Get rid of these. Got another photon drop. We'll pick that up in a moment. Let's stack for the next wave. Just to get slapped. Ah. There we go. Nice little photon drop we'll pick up in a second. Nice level up. Goodbye, Marissa's. GG. They got outplayed. So we should be able to rack up a ton of damage with Foey here. Nice, nice. Move more into the center. Debuff time. Do some 360 lightning. We might even kill the Gurdavulu with the Razond. I'm not going to worry too much. When, when somebody has demons, I'm like, oh, that enemy is so dead. I'm not going to worry about Grancing. Another event egg. Wow. What I need to do is sort my inventory. There we go. Set up a little bit for the next wave. Send them a little bit with Rizond. <laughs> Blinding white light. By Grand Detonator. Get pew pewed. Oh, Marissa, double A.
I don't know what its weakness is offhand, but I know it's weak to Kapoe stacking. I've dropped a flam burst. That's less, less exciting. Deep up a little bit so we don't get knocked down. regular Zond here. <laughs> Just the wall of grants on single Gerdabulu. Rip Gerdabulu. Picked up some junk items. I'll have to sell them next time. Rather hold these shields for value. A little rebuff the team. Switch over to Rafoe and Fire Scepter. Okay. There's an orange one. GG. Oh, I ran out of TP. No, it's no longer GG. I got GG'd. Rip my TP. I thought I had enough for one more Foey. Oh well. I will definitely try Fluid. So apparently I need about three and a half tri Fluids to do a run. So five, I technically don't need to restock. But I'll probably do so anyway, because I need to sell some items. Good to know for the future. We're going to switch over to a staff plus Rabarda. Two beats left. I'll cleave on the time limit. I mean, I don't mind doing double A, it's just going to take a while. In fact, <laughs> in fact, if we want, we can have um, Nigma come here as well and just spam ice, honestly. Yeah, so this boss is going to be dead before too long. Halfway done. There we go. Perfect. Double ice for the win. Thank you, Ice Scepter. It's all down to Hell Cleave. And Edward Nigma. Can they destroy the boss? I'm here in the grants. GG. I'll get hit because it's funny. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I got hit on purpose. Yeah. Oh, she doesn't have anything that wiggles, though. Oh, I'm so sad. I wish the pom pom wiggled. It was a Pyrrhic victory. Oh, there's the pom pom from Nigma. I saw that move. Another tri fluid, nice. Sadly, no money from the boss though. So yeah, we got almost 210 XP a second, and then get 213,000 experience. Kind of nice. So we'll do two more of these. The good team leveler, and then we'll do surface. I think a little bit, and I'll switch back to a different red ID. I figure it'd be nice to play characters I don't see as often, because we haven't been using Dumpling for a while. Now she has her time to shine. See any fun items in the store? Oof, not a single one with hit percentage. That was a big oof. Parameter hitting 140, congrats. This quest is so solid for XP while still going for real rares. 
I can't believe I'm almost at the point where I'm gonna say I don't need TTF for anything. I'm getting pretty close. Gonna communicate with Elkleave. We're now in the on beat territory. Need at least one red ring for the shared. Oh. We'll get you there, Hellcleave. Almost at Beyond the Horizon. That would have been interesting. I mean, not that her team couldn't have handled it, but it would have just been very interesting. Yeah, no sense in doing quests that don't drop items during uh, event weeks. I was trying to prevent the Rapids from running, so I stayed near them on my screen. Another Trifluid dropped already. That's kind of crazy. The Buddhas. Nice event egg. I like that there's so many enemies here that generally we're always going to get an event egg while we play. Oh, if you killed with the 2% Megid, I would die. <laughs> that, that would be something. That, that would be the shame kill. You're like, take that multiplayer. I don't care where your resists are. Roll the dice and believe. We are definitely going to go back and pick up all those grinders and diamates. Nice little restock across the board there. I guess I could technically do this if I wanted to. It does leave slightly less menuing technically to do it this way. But I feel like chat probably doesn't want to see me play this way. Like, I could. It's technically faster in some ways to leave it up like this. I think sometimes when I play single player, I do this, so it's less menuing. But the other one keeps me more awake. This, this one is so autopilot, it's unreal. The downside, too, is when I do that, I can't see the items that draw. You get an event egg though, which is nice. Goodbye, that dwarf on. Look at that bonus. I got yet another trifluid. That's crazy. So I've basically been at full TP every room now. Nice when the game spoils me with those drops. Rip the Rappies and everything else. Oh, bad waves coming up. I should focus on damage here. Here comes the bad wave. <laughs> Let's weaken them a little bit. That way we don't get completely bodied and then we'll start stacking. I think that's one of the few waves where I think it's worth me using a couple of Razans. Just because I really don't want to see what happens if they're allowed to do anything. Escape doll, that's fine. Striker plus. Man, I wish that was actually good. Could you imagine if that actually boosted like the Heaven Punisher laser damage? 
Like how much more usable that would have been. It's like weird to me. It's like it doesn't even add like MST for it either. It's like what a what a failure of an item. I don't even want to use it for its intended weapon. It's so bad. Can you imagine if that thing gave, like, additional accuracy beyond the cap or something? Like, it, it's Swordsman Lord, but for Heaven Striker, but also buff, buff laser damage. You'd have something competing with Red Ring, but on a very specific item usage. all the satellite lizards they're living with 7 HP so I know for a fact if I were to gain 14 MST my 3 to 4 Gafoes will probably do 7 damage more total okay Let's deep up them a little, make her life easy. Just get more MSC, says Tango. You're right. I gotta do better. Oh, so close. Nice. Hope you're doing well, Dango. Looked all that random Masetta. Figuring out what you want to do. I was gonna say parasitic gene flow at some point. Well, it's rare week, I would imagine. Rip all these enemies though. I mean, the only other real choice is probably Red Ring, unless you're seriously looking for like a. Another Heaven Striker equivalency. But given that you're playing Humor mostly, I doubt it. All the Rappies are gonna run, my bad. Be far up. Goodbye, Zoo. That should be on the Marissa's kill. <clears throat> Congrats again on the Photon Crystal. That is an ultra dead Gertabulu. Perfect. Weaken them up a little bit. Okay, I think that's good enough. Back to Gafoe spam. Gotta punish those Marissa's on spawn. Like trying to get his eye on a... On a blank Shuren. I mean, do you have a Shuren with hit by chance? Or you, it doesn't matter either way you go. Gurren from episode 2 Dull Saber. Interesting.
No, I wasn't sure because some people have multiples. Like I have like four Shurans, four Gurans. Some have hit, some don't. Just depends on how you acquire them mostly. Because I was going to say, if all you needed was like another uh, <coughs> blank, I could probably give you one. Ooh, nothing of interest there. That's a shame. Couple of debuffs at least for the team before we go back to Kapoe stacking. Again, no point in stacking too soon. Does it matter what the stats are on the. Well, the the hundred k the hundred k gamble won't give hit though. That's where I want to be clear. So if you just want a Gurren, let me check for you. But I imagine from what you were saying, you wanted a hit percentage. Yeah, corn corn will straight up gives you zeros. Yeah, I think you have to farm. <laughs> the Razans right now. Goodbye. Yeah, sadly, I think from gambles and also random prizes. I've ended up with a lot of blanks. Getting the hit one is hard. I think I made like a 30 hit Jazai or something like that. It wasn't like super crazy, but it was good enough. I'm like, I'm not gonna farm for a 50 hit, and be real with you. I'm like, it had some hit, good enough. And I believe Chris is still using it. Because I said to him, I was like, I didn't end up using it for its intended purpose because I don't play enough Hunter in Episode 4. So it just made sense to give it to somebody that uses it more often. Oh, look, Material. Yeah, this wave I don't need to stack. This wave I could stack. So much damage. Goodbye, Yowies. Gerda Bulu is so done. Rest in peace, Bulu. I mean, you shocked me, but at what cost? How was the hunt? Asked Calvisham. I think it's going okay. Nothing crazy drop-wise, just kind of standard stuff. I think I'm gonna pick up a live and learn over Escape Doll, to be honest, though. Let's see, is there anything I really don't need? I guess I could put away my uh, Glide Divine in three seals. I don't really need either for this run while we have teammates. Fire Scepter. Win a menu fast enough. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. I kill in two... I kill in three foes regardless. Maybe this doesn't matter. We'll find out. Does the damage break down actually matter? Not really.
So hopefully things are going well, Calvisham. I haven't been following the tournament. I'm assuming you're still hosting. XPVM Twitch saying endgame seems crazy in the game. I'm only level 10 at the moment. Oh, it's a very different experience for first time players versus ultimate. Ultimate high level is very silly. But welcome, XPVM. Hopefully commentating has going, been going well, Calvisham. Eat some dive fluids here. They're wide open. Well, thank you for the follow. Hopefully you enjoy what we're hunting today. Might switch over to RBR in a little bit. I haven't leveled yet, so we'll do at least one more. Oh, definitely getting wrecked by spinners. Go ahead and Zalore. Go ahead and get knocked down. Rip. I tried to time the rest of there to cancel the damage. It's always worth going for. Well, I gotta make sure not to attack here. So you gotta be very careful. One of the... It looks like one of the charge shots missed. Which is a little risky. I think if it doesn't reel back here, it should be dead. Ooh. Ooh, that was unfortunate. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Yeah, I think that's a downside to, like, some weapons. I, I don't even bother using specials, because if it desyncs, it wastes so much time. Ooh, very careful kills from the team there. They might be able to get all the pieces. Really close. Almost all the pieces. I'm going to see if I can grant it when it teleports. I'm going to go for it here. Maybe I can get it. No, it's out of range already. Just needs like one hit. Oh, Hell Cleave's got 100. All right, Hell Cleave's going to go finish it. <clears throat> so let's go. Let's look, go gather where uh, Nigma is. Then we'll grant its brains out and or Barda its brains out. Barda's actually pretty good with the Fonu roll in this fight. Like, there's not a lot of opportunities to really abuse simple techs. I'll donate just because. Oh! I managed to get out of the mag blast? That's fun. I guess because we're technically in a different room. That's kind of funny. <laughs> just private donations. So yeah, regular Barda here with Ice Staff is pretty strong. So we're going to be doing some big damage here, potentially, once it comes over here. I see it's still fighting Hellcleave. There we go. Part of time. It's funny enough, Barda, Barda will basically hit twice, more or less, by the time Grants is done. So an Ice Staff plus Fonu World damage is actually really crazy. It will out-damage Grants. Grants is useful when it goes underground, though, or does something weird. But Barda is very strong. Downside is if it puts spinners between you and the target, Barda is also risky. But so is Grants. So I guess it's kind of a mixed situation no matter what there. Oh, unfortunately, we only got defense materials there. Little box check with Brufoe there. Uh, yeah, let's put away some items. We, we got too many items. Oh boy. I, at some point, I gotta cash in these tickets. Un Wait, do you tell me your t the ticket count? Some NPCs do, some don't. No, you don't. I must be back up to an absurd number again. I'm sure I'm in like the low, low 90s. Be 90 or like 99 or something. Put away, live and learn. I don't need three seals in this, or Glide Divine, so I'm going to put both away. So I'm going to hold more items. Honestly, I really don't even need Escape Doll. I'm going to put that away as well. <laughs> I was looking at the different... Oh, look at that. I can force it to do commands in there. That's kind of funny. I actually forget how to put away the team viewer. One second. We'll learn. Oh, well, let me do that because of the chat thing. It's F9? F9. Okay. The 
away these. Do I need anything from here? So 55 photon drops, almost 30 of an eggs. So many badges. I need to figure out what, to, what I'm doing with these badges. They're technically good for TP material, I guess, but I'm not in a rush. Anyway, I should have enough fluids that I don't need to restock. Yeah, 9 is way high enough. So we'll hand in the quest for money. Nice little 20,000 there. Okay. Final underground version of this. Then we'll do some surface, I think. Then I'll probably bring in the Hugh Casile again, because honestly, I think Red ID surface for the other quest is good. Chat can correct me if I'm wrong. Switch back to Magical Piece, Gafoe Merge. And we're looking good there. Just making sure I put in the right password. There we go. Don't mind me. But let us know, XPVM, if you have any questions regarding PSO. Otherwise, enjoy the high-level play. Well, <laughs> high-level more in the literal sense. I'm not sure I will deliver the high-level play. Ooh, 43,000 a level is not that far for me. Takes you more action later. It's true. Time to stack those Gafoes. Yeah, using this for the techniques is kind of nice. Getting literal frame one cast is just so efficient. So it looks like I'm standing still and doing nothing, but I'm menuing a lot with this character. Horses really benefit from fast menus. Rangers do too to an extent, but man. Horses. Like what if what if every attack was a menu? <laughs> so learning where they are is kind of important. Not to mention you're also switching barriers, potentially also weapons. Can you stop shooting lasers at me. What a mean enemy. I'll need that. Fortunately, for the most part, unless you're going for, like, time attacks, you don't need to swap barriers near constantly. But it helps to be able to know that you could do that, because you need to swap your items. Since a lot of their damage is completely dependent on the shield that they're wearing and the weapon they're holding. Which is a little more than other characters. Sark of Bowie stacking. We'll let the team kill the Astarks. We're not going to worry about them. I have faith the team will kill them in time. Oh my gosh, I actually killed with Gafoe. Crazy. Next week, XP week. That's a good question. Um, I'm not sure. Air safe gene flow has been found. Congratulations. I will open the wiki and answer that question for you in a moment, Dango. I believe it should be. I'll cleave agrees. Because it was XP week, I think, right before. So I think we did drop raid already. We definitely did we did rare enemy rare item. It's either drop rate or XP. Those are the only things it could be, and I think we're lined up for XP. They're never beside each other. I've never paid attention. That's good to know, I guess. 
<laughs> As someone that doesn't play every week, I don't lose I, I lose track between events. So hopefully Danny for show your mod will work as intended. Again, it may or may not require you to have other distributables. It'll inform you if you don't have it. For me, I don't think I needed it, but I think one of my computers needed it because it was just like a fresh install completely. Oh, these satellite lizards are getting absolutely melted. Uh, we know the next wave is the booty wave. <laughs> so I might as well help the team here. It's like if always stacking won't do anything. Okay, big cannon roost chances. Uh, we help we help the team with the horrible wave. There we go. Back to Kapoe stacking. No hit cannon rouge. Oh, that's a shame. At least we are finding some cannon rouges. Got an unhandled exception. Rip this enemy. I'm trying to think. So it got rid of the other error, which is good, because that did mean you didn't run the distributable. But do you need something else with the new install? Did it say what the error was? Fail to load module from Monster Reader. Nice level though. Are you missing a file? Is that that's asking for Monster Reader? Yeah, that sounds like it's now running, but it's missing the files. Because uh, I'm assuming you have the other thing in the Athenia PSO folder. I think that'll run everything. But I could be wrong. I would have to double check my instructions. One moment. Get away from this. Hmm. It sounds like it's not able to find the files in the folder, but that also could mean that you're missing one of the files in the surface level. If I was a little preemptive, my bad. Didn't seem to matter. Uh, kind of mattered. Yeah, the downside is I can't cancel that Kapoe once it's out there. Hmm. Let me check my instructions so I can ask a proper question. Read only PSO. So you did the. You did the 2015 distributable, and you opened it into the PSO folder. I think that's all you need. I guess... Oh. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Not sure if the stream saw that, but my screen shrunk suddenly. Strange. Hmm. I'm assuming you're not just like running it on Mac or something. I'm just thinking what it would be. Got an unhandled exception. Possibly the wrong folders? Possibly the wrong folders for the install. Of 
rid of these. Can you tell me what the name of the zip was that you downloaded? I think that would help me troubleshoot something as I think about it. Just foe you real quick. morning hoop wheat it's not morning for me <laughs> oh good morning it is uh 10 p.m here ish going to 10, 10 p.m more accurately goodbye all these enemies okay so let's make sure we debuff here though it's morning somewhere i guess that's one way to look at it but we're gonna let team take care of these Soften him up a little bit. So if Daddy for sure lets me know what the name of the file was that he downloaded, I think I can then identify what the issue is. Because I'm just going to literally go to the same site. Starting to shake off the rust and grind a bit again. Hopefully you find some nice items, Hukui. It sounds like part of it is correct. But I'm curious about the other folders. This egg so far. Yeah, I I think so far I'm up a red ring, but in terms of like weapons with hit percentage, no luck there. Oh, team is never mind, we're good. <laughs> well done drop, congratulations. Goodbye, Yahweh's. And to Opinion Forms add on Soli's PSO BB add ons. Yeah, there's a couple files that could be downloaded though. Give me a moment. I'll also follow along. We'll pause very briefly to help troubleshoot. But we're gonna do that after the quest. Yeah, there's the master one. If you didn't download the master, that could pro that could cause some problems. I'm thinking is maybe what happened. Kill these. There's kind of like a universal one, and then there's the additionals. So I'm thinking you missed the master file. Because it sounds like everything else got fixed, except for that. Yeah, in their, in their uh, GitHub, they have a link to the master, from what I recall, in addition to their own. gonna say there we go we're we're, we're we're troubleshooting while attempting to complete a quest there's my split level concentration is that the bb mod i think so hope we can verify i i don't know the name of it offhand i think it's like bb master or bb mod it might that might be it i think once you have that you should be good to go Yeah, that, that sounds right to me. Yeah, same thing here. <laughs> Wait, I did it for the video, and I was like... I went through the process again, and then I wrote the notes of what I needed to do. But then it was like... Some of that stuck with me, some of it didn't. If I were to literally look at my downloads, I could probably find it without going to the site. 
Oh, is it called the flag reader? Thank you, Hoopwee. That was bothering me. I need to look that up again. I don't think I had this conversation on stream, but I was like, I could have sworn there was a reader that specifically did the MA tickets. Yeah, let me let me write that down this time. I called it uh I called it something else. I didn't call it the flag reader, so I couldn't find it when I was looking for it. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Hoopwee. That's actually super useful. Because I I'm gonna install it basically full time for sure. Because for me, I'm just like, man, I really, really want that on a couple characters. If it also does, like, other neat things, like tracking who has my episode 1 quest cleared or whatever, it's nice. If not, I would still use it for the tickets, if nothing else. Drop these. The Barda. Actually, Rip Bowie. Switch into Fire Staff. Eat a... I fluid or two. Yeah, I, I just forget the names. I am so bad with names. That's why I was like, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, you, once you have the Master Mod plus the other one, then it should work correctly. Oh, hello. You are so done, Saint Million. <laughs> Red ID and look where I paused it. GG. Get outplayed. Thank you, Fire Scepter. Yeah, for me, I just have way too many characters. So I'm trying to remember, like, who specifically has tickets on them is, like, maddening. Because it's not as simple to check as you would like it to be. Oh, it's good for that spinner if it's the yellow one. Yeah, I, I think I'm in agreement with that. I've been noticing that I've been seeing the weakness one in that spot more and more often. I'm not sure if it's set or not. It might be. I know the spinners around you are based off of your position. It's not like the the arena randomly does that. But the actual location of the weakness ones, I've been paying attention. It's kind of like falls. It took me a while to realize they were set positions. Yeah. Yeah, I think the color is random. I agree with Helcleave. Because the last time I think that was orange. Listen to Mario Galaxy music in the Sonic soundtrack, of course. Oh, I only granted one of them. I tried. I got one of them, though. So we kind of saved it. That way they don't have to worry about splitting. So once they hit it, they'll just stay there and kill it again. Could have been worse. So sad. Almost saw shit. Boss will laser, then go back to exactly where it was before. Don't mind me, just making my way towards the boss. Goodbye. Everybody posing. Yeah, I think that's enough of Underground Episode 4 for now. So let's switch to, I guess, the RBR a little bit, just to play it a bit. Oh no. More tickets that I have no idea how many that I have. So many random materials. Put that away. Probably put these away. Leave those there so I don't have to keep swapping. These back. He's too bad. I 
I might as well sell that next time. There we go. We're gonna switch back to the Hugh Casile that we were using earlier. We'll do some surface uh, episode four. And then depending on what the team wants to do next, we still have some openings. So I think I'm good to go for at least another hour, maybe an hour and a half. Oh, I so badly want to level this character. Eight more levels, chat. Eight more levels. There we go. I think I just want Vivian for this quest. I don't think my other weapons really matter. I'll cry because I don't have Angry Stomp. Oh, welcome, Dango. Thank you, Imperameter, for all the runs. Hopefully you had a good time. Wait, what? Did I do the wrong one? I thought this was the, the one. One second, chat. Two, it's two. Okay. My bad. I was <laughs> like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We'll just quit out. I was close. There we go. Yeah, I figure while forecast is there and rare up and everything else, I might as well try it. Two. Yeah, I kind of like this quest for more casual clear. Not going to be like the end-all be-all quest, but the fact that I could just play Hunter start to finish here is kind of nice. Just because there's not like a whole ton of enemies, there's just many spawns. So as long as we get a little buff, we should basically just one combo kill everything that fights us. Because Vivian is good enough by itself. And we move pretty far forward with it, which helps us stay in front of the group. Then as needed, we can put down freeze traps. And if we don't combo kill, like in single player, we can throw fire traps out for more damage. You can see here, they're just taking insane damage and exploding. So it's actually kind of fun. The only downside are the Astarks. Those are the only things where we have to kind of play around them a little bit, like this. Not the wave I thought it was. I'll let team deal with the zoo. Striker plus, disappointing. Where can you find the flag reader? I believe it's in the universal list for add-ons. If you check, I believe in my YouTube video, it has the exact page where you can look at all the add-ons. It should be in that list. I just don't know what it's under. E even I haven't installed it yet. I would like to, though. And I'll give a shout out, I think, to that. Because that was one of the ones I was trying to figure out for the video. And I just couldn't figure out what it was called. I just look how fast we're killing things. Love this. We're actually getting a really high amount of XP per second. Huh. I guess when you have a full, basically, ATP party, this goes really fast. I mean, the fact that we're hitting 190 XP a second is very silly. And again, I don't even have like a really good Vivian. 
It's just quote unquote good enough. Yeah. Got a beast in machine, but no native or dark. Rip these enemies. Just look at us mow them down. It's not even really a point to freeze traffic for the most part. They're so spread out. And I'm not going to spend the time to trap shoot my stuff. They, they die way too quickly for that to matter. If it was like Quadra Astark or something, for sure. Otherwise, they just kind of die in one combo. And we don't need to special at all either, which is kind of nice. I could freeze trap here, though. Make life easy. Yeah, but the fact that we combo kill there and we have a Rafoe potentially going off every now and then. Kind of nice. Like, that SR just got absolutely bodied. Oh, man. Bonk. <laughs> so, yeah, this is definitely higher XP per second than uh, when we first did it. But I guess because we have so much damage, it's just going incredibly fast. So actually not a bad way to level and also check these for uh, Cannon Rouge. There we go. We believed in our team damage there. Yeah, like, this is something I could, in theory, freeze trap. Oh, I should probably go back for a material. But not both. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is one of the few quests where I can say, like, I actually prefer the Hunter over the Ranger. Like, 100%. Just, ooh, the fast kills there. There's enough Lizards that it gets kind of annoying as the Ranger. Not that they're bad at it. Like, I definitely like them a little more for dealing with the Zoos. But I'm having a lot of fun with Hunter. Again, there's no real point to be freeze trapping. I might as well just burn them. It's not really any particular wave I'm worried about. So every now and then I'll pick out a, I'll, I'll pick up the gun just to finish things off. And you can see even in multiplayer, due to Shifta, I'm able to combo kill. If it's just raw moral Shifta, I think I can't combo kill. And that's where having a more efficient uh, weapon for this area would work. So if I had, for example, like a 20% native, probably be fine. But with force, it doesn't matter. That's kind of nice that non-optimal gear for the area is still able to combo kill. And due to that really fast rapid hit, you could do quite a bit. And last couple of things are just kind of S Starks and Dwarfons, which we don't super care about. <laughs> I can tell when somebody brings the demons, for sure. But at least we have a nice little gun to uh, multi-hit. Decent distance. GG.
<laughs> the torch bomb was absolutely deleted. So that was fun. Nice and short quest. And then we'll get Tree Clipper. After that, it will be Scape Dolls, though, which is not bad for newer players. The nice and fast. It also benefits from the Easter Egg Boost, which is new this year. Is anybody doing RBR? We'll get more eggs in the RBR quests, which kind of makes up for the lower enemy numbers. Which I think was a good idea. 100%. 3, 2, 1, go. Nice. So yeah, I'll have to keep this quest in mind. I feel like most of the new mop-up operations are kind of fun to play. I don't play them super often outside of four, but they're nice with like a little teeny boost. It is hard to compete with some of the behemoth massive attack quests, but at least if they're RBR, they might have a chance. And again, without having any native percentage, this character is combo killing. Also not at max ATP or max luck. So, not optimized in the slightest. Ooh, this with Red Ring is gonna feel so good. Red Ring by itself might push me to the point where I can kill in one combo. Let's put a Freeze Trap down. Because right now, I'm not missing any heart attacks, which is good. So even a zero hit Vivian is super good. But I guess if I'm not using S parts, I would need a Vivian with at least 15 hit, I think, to get the equivalency. It's four enemies. So yeah, this would have been a pretty nice way to level the Hue cast if I had like a red-eyed Hue cast. Sadly though, there's not enough door funds, I think, to play for the uh Excal. I don't even think it was demons, I think just the Humar plus Hugh Castillo equals GG. No, it's a lady over there, but if you're, if you're free after your hunts, I'd love any help you're willing to give. Desperation says Danny Pichot. Um, yeah, we could probably help. How long are you sticking around, Danny Pichot? I wanted to do a couple more of these runs first. They're pretty quick. I was gonna say, if Promethean was here, I'd be like, Promethean, do you have any spare cookies? So that would be broken. Oh, it's early here? Oh, okay. That's good. I'll be around for a bit then. I was just curious how much time pressure I had for it. I don't know if I'll go long enough to level with this character, but I'd like to get a few more Cannon Rouge attempts in. If you are, are you going to be around Sunday potentially? Because I might be able to get you to 80 there. But I could do like a couple quests with you. Potentially. Oh, too far. Oh. Not out of range. Goodbye.
Did you want any items, Daddy for show sure, for new characters out of curiosity? Because we have a horde of items. Because I might save some more of the serious runs for this weekend if you're available. Work Sunday till 11 p.m. I'm on Pacific time. Hmm. Oh yeah, we have a ton of items for new players. Let's let's do that. Let's spend some time and give you some items. They could probably give you some heavenly battles, for example. Uh, if you want some heavenly powers as well, probably give those away. If you wanted a really basic frozen shooter, we have those. I'm getting hit by all these SRX. Get out of here. I had enough. <laughs> it's like, let me throw that down. I have so many items that are just stockpiled for new players. I don't, I don't mind. I'll just give them away. That's their entire purpose, is to go to a happy home. So it's stuff that you'll still have to hunt for better if you want to, like, optimize the run. But if you're looking to just get into ultimate, it should be good enough. Get rid of these. Another ass star. Touch the swing. Play with you a few hunters too. My friends would be glad to share. No problem. I was gonna say, if they show up on stream, I'm willing to give them out. That's my rule of thumb. But yeah, we could we could spend like uh 10 minutes. We we could save runs if you're around next Wednesday or next Friday. I can potentially level you if you're not 80 by then. Let's do that. We'll do items today. Runs of future week. Especially if it's going to be XP week. Then it just makes sense. Just got Brave Man with 30 hit. Oh, okay. It's actually pretty solid. Uh, goodbye, Scape Doll. I don't think it's like my highest hit percentage, but it's kind of nice. Came with Dark and A Beast. I kind of wish they came with Machine, actually, because I do need something a little better for um, all out. But the 30 hit's still nice, regardless. So you're going to help me alleviate space in my uh, alternate hunters. <laughs> So team, after this one, we're going to take a short break. I'm going to give some items to Danny for sure to help him with his levels. Dango got a discovery man. Then I think we'll go back to this afterwards. Since I do enjoy this quest, it's very fast paced. There's not a whole ton of enemies. So it's not as worried about like setup, which a lot of the episode two quests tend to be, which are not my playstyle for the most part. I like reacting to them via the random quests or whatever. Get rid of these. Oh, Asark hit me. What a jerk. So I think what we'll do is we're going to run this enough times that this character levels when we come back from the break. Then from there, Chat will pick what quest we do. If you want to do tower, want to do TTF, want to do RT. Speak, speak and it shall be done. Ooh, downgrade. Uh, TTF stands for Towards the Future. That was the uh, boss rush quest we did the, at the beginning. It is a popular episode one quest. Good for levels. Much easier to do if you got the equipment, though. The the big downside I would say for new players for it is uh, falls. Falls is kind of a problem. That's why people will do a lot of dragon resets on that quest. I've been doing MAE GDV runs if you want to run those. Interesting. Maybe. 
I haven't run those in a while. I think I've only run them when you're here. I have fun with them. <laughs> Since you know the setup, that saves me a lot of hassle with episode two. EN3 quite good too. Mm. Give me one second chat as I help a brand new player. So I'm going to make a game, Daddy Fisho. I'm going to name it after you. And then I'm not going to put a password on it. That way you could just join in. Oh, I fully agree, Hoopweed. I was I was hurting for DD2 the other day. I was like, I feel so sad. <laughs> like, that quest was so fun. I'm hoping, I'm wondering if ever in the future, for example, for Easter, if they're going to introduce any of those kind of quests to make it kind of in line with Halloween quests, Christmas quests, and uh, anniversary. Or if they did it for Valentine's. We'll do episode two. We're in block two. We'll call the game, uh... Yeah, there we go. Okay, game's up. Uh, let's see. You said you have hunter friends? Are they like literally hunter or? Give you a demon ray gun. Give away one of the Jaya's. Give away one of our vices. Which charge arm? Uh, spread needle. A random red sword for new players. A red handgun. Random frozen shooter. Uh. Give away a lower guilty leg as one on. Yeah, there's the Gurren insurance that are blank. Uh, so I don't super care about some of these items. Got some crimson coats, which aren't too terrible. Well, this character might not... Oh, the, this character doesn't have the uh, units. What am I going to do? I'm going to give you these. I'm going to swap characters. Spread to your people as you see fit. Should have a couple of small things in here. Thought I had another... Could be on the other character. Let me check real quick. Yeah, it must be on the other character. Void Demolition comics, I don't care about those. So I'm going to rejoin the game, but I'm going to pick a different character. Huh? Why does my shortcut not work? One second. Did I do it wrong? I did do it wrong. Okay. So that's a good assortment of items. Actually, I should have just quit out. That's a good assortment of items, and then, uh... Yeah, the spread needle is pretty good for starting rangers. I should have a lot more units on the other character. I looked at that and I'm like, that's weird. I should have like seven heavenly battles, just for clarity. I, I don't have a lack of them. They just must be on this second character. And the other ones are more for forces. So yeah, we gave away some basic hunter gear, good ranger gear. Let's go clean it up with some units. And then we'll go back to our hunts. <laughs> I love <laughs> Chad love my S Bank characters. They're just they're basically extensions of my share bank. Oh, there's my disc as a brave man. I was gonna say I had a couple of these, so we'll give away at least two. Do you have any cheap four slaughters? Uh I don't think so offhand away a monkey king bar that I don't need. 
Ooh, random heaven striker. That'll be good for a ranger. Um, actually, I think you are in luck. You are in luck. I have a couple. I'll give away a couple of those. Don't need like any of these. Keep my 13s. Give away a Kasami Bracer. Let's grab 86. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, give away Yadamir. I see God battles. Where are the Heavenly battles? There we go. Give away all these because I don't need these. Huh. I thought I had a few more. Maybe I gave them. Maybe I gave away more than I thought. But anyway. That should be decent equipment for the group. I feel like that covers basically everything. I don't think there's too much else here. Yeah, not really. Okay. So hopefully that gets you started. I'm gonna look one time. Actually, I forgot to check my share bank. One second. Do I have another heavenly battle worth giving away? Oh, that's the wrong bank. One second. Slash bank. Make sure I do this just to fix it. Oh, I can't see from there. That's unfortunate. I'm just going to check very briefly by joining the game. It's still giving me the wrong list. That's unfortunate. Sometimes it does that. If I load in, for example, for the first time, it'll have the right data. But I think because I forgot to swap it before doing that, it won't check. Yeah, okay, there's my heavenly battles. I can give away two more, because you said you had a group of people. I should at least do that. Like to use the website character viewer for this. Mm, it's only between two characters who bleed. It does not save me that much time. It saves me time if I lose my merge. I, I don't know how many characters have items for other players for you. For me, it's just two players. So like, it's either this character, or this character, or the bank. So in either way, I'm going to be playing both characters. Okay, so let's continue with the runs. So we'll do a couple more episode 4 stuff, and then we'll see if people want to do episode 2. I mean, at some point we'll do RT for uh, Dango. As the music fell asleep. Wake up, music. Yeah, I mean, at this point my inventories are super clear. The only thing I'm not sure about is, like, one set of beginner units. I should put some of those in the, uh, the other character's bank. Now that I have space, because I think they did cap originally, and that's why I didn't do that. So I think now with those extra slots, I could put stuff back in there, which will be nice. Yeah, let's do a couple more episode four, and then we'll switch maybe to episode two. Yeah, those four characters, they have the text, they have all my components, and the other two are a mix of weapons and units. Just sadly, I had more in my share bank than I thought. Which is good, I got rid of some of those now. Thank you, Danny Fusho, for gifting Clock Tower Joe a, subscri a subscription. Yeah, it doesn't have, like, all the charge items possible that help out, but I feel like that's probably a good enough range of items for newer players. A couple of vices and stuff like that with some hit percentage is better than nothing. I don't let my sheriff get full. I pick up a lot of items for other players, so it gets full very quickly. In particular, techniques. 
So if I'm picking up 15s, 20s, and like 29s for people, that's like easy 60 slots in like a week. Pick up items for other places if they have at least one PD value usually. Don't pick up a text anymore. That's fair. For me, I'll still do it because people do need them. Plus, I make a lot of forces. I think we still have to level one force technically. <laughs> Actually, that is funny. Technically, I could level my uh, remaining force. But I think I would need Promethean to help with the cookies. Don't want to make bank characters. I think for the most part... I, you know, I still have some spare bank... Or not bank, I still have some spare character slots. It's mostly just what kind of coverage do I want. I feel like if I make any more, I will generally just not use some of these characters. Like, I would have no reason to use the Hugh Castile, for example, if I just had, like, a really good mix of Hugh Cast, Raw Cast. So it's like, I'd rather be forced to play the character and enjoy their little quirks than have a character for every ID. The only one I want that is probably Phonuman. Just because their hunts are kind of annoying. So in theory, I could turn those bank characters into the casts or whatever if I really wanted those slots. Get through this. Yeah, I think how Cleave does something similar. His bank characters are usable characters, so no Hugh Mars, for the most part. <laughs> He's raising his Hugh cast army. Ooh, I got confused. What is 153% rare, nice. Goodbye, Babudas. Sadly, all the Babudas killed, but... Not a whole ton of Cannon Rouge, sadly. Yeah, I think the bit, the difference, too, is I don't really trade at all. And it <laughs> I know it bothers some players. I'm like, I really don't. I mostly just give stuff away. Sometimes I'll ask Hulkley for an item. And we'll do the, the PD trades that way. I think I've posted in the trading forum maybe less than five times since starting PSO. It's not something I usually venture into. I do have a lot of PD saved up in case I want to make any big purchases, but I think at this point they probably won't happen. So I think I'm sitting on... 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. A little under 500 PDs. Plus however many spheres I have. So if I really wanted to do a crazy one. Yeah, I'm not even sure. Like, I'm just kind of at the point where, like, it, if I were to start considering sphering, it would just take me so long with how many characters I have to even bother getting, like, a good weapon. Like, I think I have enough to completely max the Baran's launcher right now. But it's like, that's one item of so many. So I don't know. I'll think about it. Yeah, Heaven, Heaven Striker with hit is probably the only other big thing I'm looking for. 
Heaven Striker with a little bit of hit. Cannon Rouge with better stats. I got enough spare Excals that I don't know if it matters. Uh, Ajito, just to say I have the Ajito. A single Psycho Wand. And then completing Red Rings. I think that's like my full list. I'm not looking for like Sealed J Sword or a lot of those other rares. I just have no interest. So if it goes towards plating, I, I probably won't do it. Just because it's like, uh... <laughs> I'm not that done with the game. And generally speaking, I don't care about cosmetics. I like the way I designed the look of my character. That's about it. Weapons I wield is whatever. A lot of people sphere at 25. Interesting. Yeah, like I have a 30 hit Excalibur. Technically, I could sphere it. It would make it very good. But it's like... I don't know. <laughs> In a sea of like... 14 something characters I'll just find myself constantly going but then this other character won't use it and then it'll be like another item I have to rotate constantly with the share bank and that just kind of defeats the purpose so if I then sphere it and then don't swap it then I've wasted the spheres because it's like I so rarely stick to one character okay here's Buddha Another Disco Brave Man. Sadly, no hit, so I'm not going to bother picking that one up. But I think after this, we'll give uh, Dango a brief break. So if he wants to give that spare 3084 to uh, Daddy for sure. And uh, gear him up and his friends. Get rid of these. Yeah, I would need a pretty hefty amount of uh, PDs, I think, to Sphere all at once. I definitely don't have a good enough Heaven Striker for, to even consider Sphering. I have a good enough Excalibur. This 30 hit is pretty solid, and it's got no other attributes. So it would have to be like a fresh Sphere. Oops, I got bodied. Yeah, my Jayas are okay. I don't have any that are crazy. I think Hell Cleave helped me get a second 35 hit. Did we get a Dwarf on a Clear? Seriously? Where's Rare Slime? <laughs> Chan, I'm asking the hard hitting questions. Where's my Rare Slime at? Yeah, DE indeed. I'm like DUMB. Where's the, where, where are the rare enemies when I want them? Goodbye, Dwarf on a Clear. Oh, well, I got another Crimson Coat, I guess. Actually, well, it rolled like 11 defense. That's actually decent. Why can I not target this enemy? The slope is too powerful. Um, I mean, I guess I'll pick it up. I was talking about this with the other day. I think Crimson Code is okay as a gear. Like, it's not going to be like top, top tier, but I kind of like it from like a leveling perspective. Because if you're trying to survive things like the Lilies, or you're trying to get through like Falls, or you're trying to survive Gertabulu, it is surprisingly high resistances across the board. It's like 14, I think, which is one of the better armors for that kind of thing. It's not going to be as good as a like dedicated like Brightness Circle versus like EDK kind of thing, but if you just want one that just kind of goes there. Oh, and then obviously, yeah, phone new rollers are potentially best in slot, of course. But I meant more for, like, uh, Hunter Ranger. Its defense is high enough, its resist is okay. <laughs> oh my god, you just... <laughs> I just looked at my resistance, though, on this character. Yeah, like, that armor... That armor provides more resist than my Fire, Ice, Dark, and Light. I'm at 12s and 2s. Yeah, the buff to like the red saber is kind of nice. I'm not sure if uh, the other buffs are worth it. But it's there. So we'll give Dango a moment to do the trade. 
And we'll do, let's say, two more of these, and we'll switch into episode two, maybe. Again, these quests are very quick. And that'll put me not too far off from getting a TTF level up on this character. It is kind of funny, I'm mostly leveling up XP on uh, non, non XP weak characters. But we're using them for the rares at least. It's kind of fun. I don't think I really need Dark Flow in this quest. See, so yeah, I think I have one force left to level. I have to decide when I'm going to level that character. Don't know if I'll do it during the event or not. That'll be like a if I'm bored thing. Yeah, right now no other character's really using Dark Flow. Technically, I could put it in the share bank for the Hudu roll. Oh, Dango went to a different room. Okay, so they're still doing the trade. Let me put that away then. I mean, it, it's nice if I get it. it. Does help a little bit with Dragon, but honestly, like a really high hit vice kind of does everything else that I needed to do. So I could do all well, the escape dolls away. I guess I can get rid of the vice. I don't technically need Jaya for this quest, but I'll keep it there for now. <laughs> Jaya is more like I'm used to doing TTF with this character. And again, like, it's not optimal for it. Like, it's machine instead of ABs for when I want to use it versus Warm Boss. That rainbow baton, though. Mm. Thank you again, Hellcleave. This has made this so much easier to use. So at least we got V101 Smart Link Heavenly Arms and Chariot Ability. I feel like most of our gear here is pretty good. Blackhound mostly for defense for single player. So I don't get knocked down by certain attacks. But once I get Red Ring, then I can switch over to probably 13 full time. Just have to get some ad slots on one of my spare ones. Because then with 13 as our full time armor, and having the defense makeup with Red Ring and the accuracy boost. One of my mediocre uh, Disco Brave Man should be able to destroy Vault Op pretty quick. Out of curiosity, where are we in the soundtrack? Let's do a song check. We're at 96 out of 163. This is a long soundtrack. The Olympics never end, chat. <laughs> I think this I think this is actually gonna go so long, we're not even gonna complete it. Like not even remotely close. It might live across three streams. Do some tight zigzags. Good luck, Danny Fasho. Hopefully those items and units help your team. Yeah, the Heaven Striker is a pretty good damage gun. You're going to be using that probably on falls versus the spinners. It potentially falls itself if you don't have any other charge items. Frozen Shooter will be a really great tool for you. As will Spread Needle Lockdown versus Fall Up. Such so should be basically all you need to bully bosses. Actually, I don't think I gave a Cannon Rouge, but I think you got everything else. I don't have a ton of Cannon Rouge, sadly. They mostly just refuse to drop for me.
There we go. Dango says, okay. these move forward see so yeah, I'm happy that we did some RBR I forget if black Adoshi's used in any new platings I have to check I'm assuming at some point they're gonna do something else they clear five steel interesting I know I have the Adoshis for a reason, other than Blue Adoshi Violet Nibidao, which is the one you use for the actual stats. Oops. Hitting normal a few too many times there. Let's see all Claire's five deal stuff he's using planning. Fair. <laughs> just Vivian and downing a Rappy, just because. Well, let's do an event egg check. Nope. That is a power material. I should go pick that up. Rip the satellite lizards. That is not the one I wanted to target, but we'll take it. I do love that I can combo kill in multiplayer. That's a good feeling. So she finally has enough raw ATP with uh, zeroed weapons to kill. So I could take advantage of her fast animation. Oh, I got knocked down. Unfortunate. Out of curiosity, Hoopweed, for the white ID, or is it white ID? For the episode two run, did you need me to run a specific character for that? Like ID wise? If I end up posting, I'm just curious. So we'll probably do that in a little bit. I mostly just want to get this character closer and XP and maybe get a Cannon Rouge. And sadly, I think we've been... I've seen other people get it so far in our runs, but I would like to say that I saw a Cannon Rouge today. So many kills. Another power material, nice. That was some big damage. Nice, another event egg. Dango pulling out the big sword. Respect. It was Fodra block one. Osiris has found. Do you know 1975? Aw, oh, I've been going for those. Sadly, no luck. They killed the same thing I was killing. Oh, they killed Maricus for it. That's fair. A little freeze trap action for them here. Just in case they survive. Yep, 
Yeah, the satellite lizards getting frozen means they can get held slash heavy hit more consistently. <laughs> like the random sound effects in the song itself. I'm guessing it's a special event song or something. Rip Dango. Dango hitting 185 though. Damn. Dango's climbing. I remember when Dango was 178. We've been doing a lot of high XP quests, or at least XP per second. Getting on average 170 or higher. Sometimes 210, depending on the quest. Kill them real quick. Move on to the next group. Ooh, I didn't combo kill there. There's a couple enemies that might require a crit. Hmm. It's just a more... Eats slightly more ATP. Although, sadly, I think she caps at like 1300 or something stupid. Some of the character stats are criminally low. I was not expecting that Rappy to hit me there. Rip help, please. Kill you, dealt with you. There we go, nice and simple. Another event egg? Okay, we're starting to get a little bit of a payoff. I'll take that over Cannon Rouge, two event eggs. So many Buddhas. Just get Brave Man, but sadly, no hit of interest. I was gonna say, I'm getting bullied by the zoos. Get out of here. <laughs> I guess that's something I could spend more uh, PDs on. More Twin Blaze. Just all my casts have one. It would, in theory, help me. I guess I could leave it on her, this character. Oh, I got crit. Unfortunate. I guess it technically technically would help me to bring it here. Because I don't have a good zoo option. But once, the, once they get stopped, they just die instantly. Okay. We'll do one more of these. And we'll switch it up. Yeah, that'll put her pretty much in TTF range, so I could do that later. So many escape dolls. On the plus side, it means the team has escape dolls for episode two. So last RBR. I think of the whole event for me. So we'll, we won't see it again. I don't think I'll play in time Saturday to see it. I'm considering if I want to stream slightly earlier on Saturday to squeeze in bonus PSO before we transition over to Phoenix Wright. So keep an eye out on the Discord. That's on a if I feel it level. <laughs> I'm not going to guarantee it, but I thought about it. So if I start around 5 o'clock, for example, might squeeze in some simple runs. What the vocals on this? Mario's figure skate spectacular. It's a nine minute song? You've got to be kidding me. Why is it so long? That's insanity chat. I guess it's like a super mix. Apparently, this is what happens when he figure skates. 
Sonic and the Olympic Strikes Again. I'm like, I'm not even sure how much of that is like unnecessary repeats. I think this song is genuinely that long. The Olympics are never over. It's true. We're 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 going through the audio and the audible version of, of the triathlon. Like, can you make it through the whole soundtrack? <laughs> the multi-day event. Can you climb slash swim slash bike through everything? Or some combination of three events anyway? Get out of here, Buddhas. So much XP. So this is really good, because that means that potentially... Be at 173, so then I'll be within seven levels. Another event at Ignice of getting a red ring. Because this character with a red ring is going to be a lot of fun. Because I think shelling out, like, what was it, like 10 or 10 or 12 PDs for that S parts has been completely worth it. It made her way more usable. Like, she was already pretty accurate, but then with that, I could do box runs consistently. Do all sorts of fun things with it. And then even in this quest, like, that extra 15 accuracy, translating to the second hit, so that way I can normal heavy consistently, has been really good. Like, see how there that enemy was 118%? I don't think I would have hit that with without the 15 accuracy boost. Like, I would have been at, like, 98 or something, or 95. Because keep in mind, the second hit scales accuracy. And, like, the 104% definitely would not be 100% without it. So it's putting in the work. Now I'm finally ha playing a quest that it pays off in particular, where it's just oops all Vivian. I guess at some point I should probably try to get a Vivian, just one really solid Vivian for this character, because she uses it way more than every other character I have, including the Hugh roll. But obviously it's not something I'm going to pay like a whole bunch of PDs for, but it could just be like, I don't know, like I would potentially give up like 10. If it had like a low hit percentage. It doesn't even need to be crazy. Yeah, exactly. Because for her, it definitely makes a big difference. There's a couple enemies I sometimes miss in multiplayer. And obviously, if we're talking about like the insane evasion enemies in episode 2 or whatever, then of course. But this weapon has been very useful. And with its machine percentage, I've been using it versus Vault Op for extra damage. They're all plain since they're event ones. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Just walking forward and murdering constantly. Checking the beats. Got some time before the beat change. So many enemies. Wow, that enemy literally got versed by the team so fast, the, the free strap barely did anything. Kind of funny. Let's dodge that. See some damage to the dwarf on. I can I could probably like double combo kill him. Like two two combo kill. But I think that requires some crits. Goodbye, satellite lizards. Oh, we're in the clapping version of the soundtrack, I hear. That way you at home can clap along to the song. I still can't believe he's in so many Olympic games. It's crazy, chat. Now let's try to bait them into the freeze trap there. Perfect. Ooh, 
Ooh, I want the mono grinder. Damn, that XP is so nice. Only 182,000, so I get about, I think it's 140,000 per TTF. So two TTFs with this character in the level, that's not bad. Goodbye, Satellite Lizard. Ooh, that 1,000 crit, hmm. Cannot wait to fix this character's materials. But a couple more level ups first. I think me having more power than expected is better. And I am using the defense to not get knocked down in some scenarios. Which again will be less relevant once I get a red ring. Then my defense on material doesn't matter. So much damage. Just normal power power until everything dies, chat. Okay, getting closer to not needing two TTFs. Still got a couple more kills to go. I think that's the first dwarf on a Claire I've seen this year. I'm trying to think. I haven't seen one in a while. I don't think I've seen one off stream. Yeah, I think that's true. I don't think I've seen Dwarf on a Claire. Unless we got one in the Christmas event, maybe technically into January. That'd be more of a technicality. But definitely not in the other casual plays. That double freeze was so nasty, GG. Just cut down that ass star. Get that diamate. Switch to gun. Nice. Thank you, last one. I'm taking advantage of your distance more than your damage. Okay, so I guess we'll switch over to some episode 2 runs, see how things go. I think I'm going to put away from this character. It's the blue Adoshi. We'll do a quick little status check on how we're doing with items acquired. Five event eggs, that's kind of intense. That away. Okay, so knowing that I'm still holding event eggs on other characters, I'm up to 33. That's good. We've only been playing a little bit on um, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes Sunday. It's a lot of eggs. Okay, so I guess I'll switch over to... Oh, I'm in C Bank 1 already, that's right. I guess we'll switch over to do some RT runs or something. Dango still needs that parasitic gene flow. <laughs> and that other character needs the level 2. Another escape doll. Yeah, I think we did some episode 1, episode 4, two different quests in episode 4. And we're switching over to episode 2. So not bad. I just don't understand why the sound effects are in the song. Some of the other songs seem very short at least. Like 54 second songs. It isn't like that one Olympic cut where they had like a maybe 32 beat song looped for five minutes. Like that was, that was very excessive. So we're going to get Dango a pair of Gene Plum.
We'll do at least two RTs to say we did them. I guess I should probably get... Ooh, I d did I put the vice away? I think I put the vice away. I'll know in a second, though. She should have a Gear Soul on her already. Just need this, potentially. Yes. Okay. Oh, speaking of which, I should always check the weapon shop. Never know when there's something with crazy hit in here. Hmm. I guess I could start with my vice. Although, with how fast chat is damaging things, maybe less one makes more sense. Bowser getting murdered in the soundtrack. to reach for the dream again. That would have been so bad. Ooh, Helkley bringing in the rock seal. Land in those hell shots. Yeah, sadly, I think I might have slightly messed up my uh, Rocket Seal's ID. She's fun in TTF, but definitely not ideal. So, if there's ever an ID switch. Probably switch her to something more suited for a spaceship or something, slash temple. <laughs> or just make her white ID, honestly. What ID OP? Yes, I don't care about episode 4 with that character. Use the vice on this enemy. Should just die in one combo. Oh, well. <laughs> Definitely if Dango hits it, then it's just ultra GG. This is the Hilda coming. Nobody's hitting the Rappies. That's a shame. Rip Rappies. I guess technically we have a chance of seeing the Easter Rappy. Technically. Or at least doing some episode 2 for it. The giant egg with legs, if I remember correctly. Try enemy. I always bring soul atomizers. You can only briefly inconvenience me. I love that I'm able to combo kill them with normal attacks. That to me is so silly. And this damage is so good.
Kill Delta I gotta at least power attack once. What's on draw? Congratulations. I don't have a great weapon for this. I guess I should bring in a Disco or something. I mean, when it gets close, I just giant its brains out, but in the meantime, what I should do... Wow, the boss is actually behaving itself? It's not teleporting? How unlike this boss. Ooh, I should have shot the other segment. Oh well. Small misplay there. If I hit this segment that's like behind its head, I can kill it really fast when it beaches again. As opposed to just mostly fast. I've been in the paralyzed. Get some pot shots here, because normally I can kind of focus fire a single piece like this. And then if I want to, I could just annihilate the boss. But anyway, I'm Dejaya. And yeah, <laughs> Jaya did like 8k to that boss. Thank you, Jaya. Your sacrifice was appreciated. Do relay shell. Do people want those? I'm just always kind of curious when we pick them up. Alright, so we're gonna do the tip. So there's the the little little point there. Then there's the bolt. So I think I gotta go. <laughs> we gotta we gotta get the perfect position. Hold on, camera please. I think this is it. So I'm dead center between the two bolts. I think this is it. They see this this is the uh PSO Olympics. <laughs> Who can have the most precise walk from raft? Let's see if we nail the landing. Oh, I think I'm dead on. Yeah, look at that. No adjustment needed. Optimized. <laughs> so dumb. Oh, episode two. I have to find some ways to abuse myself in the downtime. Enemy is ultra dead. Kind of funny we don't even need to deal with them. I'll kill them anyway, though. Uh-oh, where's Hope Leaf? We're gonna run in the meantime. Take that switch out. <laughs> that is uh that is an emote. No worries, I'll cleave. Just want to make sure you didn't disconnect or something. I was more worried about that. I know uh Worm Boss does not play very nicely. For some people. Me included, where it crashed the client. Uh oh, somebody hit the switch. We're getting trolled. Uh, well, time to deal with Del Saber, I guess. Come here, Del Saber. Do your stupid little leap that hits like impossibly far. Ooh, I like that cut down from Dango. Like the normal, normal. Take that, stupid Del Saber. There we go. We sort of protected Dango. Uh, I need to drain HP. Oh, Hulk Weave's actually here. Come on, I gotta drain HP faster. <laughs> drain faster. There we go. Nice little 4 HP. Whew. 
truly playing the way the game is intended. Oh good, we don't have to deal with fire. Thank you, invincibility. Oh, it double hit me. That was so rude. That was so rude. I even die mated. So sad. Punish for going to 4 HP. Oh well, I guess I should try mate in that scenario going forward. Or double die mate, I guess. Oh boy. <laughs> At least with the 60 hit vices, I could do something here. This character is going to feel much better with the accuracy of a red ring. So I still miss my heart attack there. Even with the 60 hit vice, which is kind of insane. You see that? Okay. Reset our combo. Move a little further into the room. At least we have enough raw ATP to kind of bully them. But obviously if we get higher level, our vices will do a little better damage. Trap made me miss target. That's so sad. Get the try grinder. We need those for later. So at least normal, normal heavy is consistent. So that way we could deal with the en enemies without worrying about whiffing. Normal heavy heavy would be better technically, since I might be able to two button kill. I could get the guaranteed three hit combo. It's not bad. are ultra dead. The Ben eggs, nice. Definitely hard to compete with the hell, though. But at least we're doing some good damage. If we were taking, like, five hits to kill, i feel really bad, but... 50% ABs? Oh, man. Can you imagine if that was, like, a Jaya with, like, 40 hit, 50 ABs? I would be like, oh. So beautiful. <laughs> that worm boss is so dead. So I hope Cleave is taking care of the little treasure area back there as we clear out this area. Yeah, there's not too many runs I want to do the use with the Hudo roll. I definitely think blue ID was a mistake with her. I just did it because I like the color blue, not because I thought about the items. So it's like, at least she has RT to do, but like she can't do TTF. Which is a quest I definitely prefer comparatively. Not sure if there's any other crazy meta runs or anything. You know what? I don't feel like dark flowing this boss. This boss is so jank. Not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna worry about surviving Tornado. Or make that pink Ron Marl be blue Rocket Seal. I'm thinking of something similar for sure. Something that'll be fun, at least, for episode two. Now that she's had her TTF life, which she did earn. She she got like 50 levels in TTF, and I did grind it out. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's try to separate from the party in case I get targeted. Feeling, feeling a little targeted. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. I got hit by that. That's unfortunate. Ooh, that berserk damage with bazooka. Guess I can heal up. Oh, 40 hit laser, no special. Disappointing. Chat, to no one's surprise, I did not get the, uh... <laughs> I did not get Gal Griffin's wing. I feel like this item is just non-existent in my game. It's fine. Never going to receive it. It, it allegedly is the same rarity as Parasitic Gene Blow. Yet I'm at zero, aside from the gifted one. So sad. Anyway, we're a little bit behind the team since I went back for the power material, so we'll just keep walking. I don't have a hell handgun here. I could bring one in theory, but it's just kind of like, eh. She's got Kasami Bracer for extra ATP, which is kind of nice. Although I guess on the sad part, Red Ring will actually decrease her damage. Unless Red Ring gives 35. I don't think it does. I think it gives 25. Every day I check the boxes up here. I pray nothing of interest is up there. There we go. Rewarded. I still check them, but... Like, don't make me take detours. I barely know how to navigate this area. Good shotgun hell. Mega to the face technique. It is very super effective. How did... How did my specials miss there? It was actual insanity. I just saw like 172% chance of landing and miss, 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 miss. <laughs> that's just... That's just bad luck. I must have got them as they were rising or something. They were untargetable. I'm assuming it can't hit me if I'm off center. Thank you for the heal. Hmm. I can beat this thing, Star Atomizers. Rico Bonks. Bonk. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of damage. As was that. GG to Sinnoh. There we go. Yeah, I don't recall what the Hewn Oral's max ATP is, but even if it's like 1240, I think I'd be pretty happy. <laughs> the Rico dropping the Event Egg. Nice. I guess that's the plus side. Those enemies are normally just kind of a waste of time. But uh, during events, they're at least generous. Oh, Yunchang finally dropped. 
Wow, that took a really long time, chat. I think that's the first time I've received a Yunchang from Amorphos. That includes box runs. The other Yunchangs I have are from uh, Gambles, when I used to gamble a long time ago. And I think exactly one other episode to run. I don't remember what it is. It might have been one of the, the, the group ones last year. I'm pretty sure I didn't get one until last year with any percentages. So it rolled with what exactly? Native Abyss? Just comparing it to Jaya. 211 versus 2206. So without hit percentage, not the most exciting thing. I got bodied, but on the plus side, I now have Mag Blast. So joke's on you, Sinozoa. You played right into my trap by Sinozoa. Okay, that time I didn't need to run into that. That was just player error. Okay, so let the team build some meter. somebody was going for a meter yep i'm at 100 so i'm good whenever i'm not sure if anybody else needs it other than hulk leave i'm assuming uh edward nigma will donate although arguably i wonder if it's even worth leveling it I'm gonna do twins. There we go. Big boost damage time. So unfortunately we do have to rely a little bit of RNG here, but if we're lucky, we could kill this boss nearly instantly if our sacrifice lands. Otherwise they could stick to just normal, normal heavy for the safest damage, which would be unfortunate if I had to do that. So we have so much raw potential damage, on, especially on crit. So fortunately, Zalora goes off screen and hits. But yeah, this could potentially be a very fast boss fight phase. Yeah, between Heaven Striker crits and Vices, might one shot it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, so I think most of my sacrifice landed there. Worth it. It's worth taking the gamble. That saves a lot of time if it happens. Whereas the other one, I'm not even sure I'm guaranteed to get the kill with the safe route. I don't think it's possible. And again, that's a strategy that will only get better with Red Ring. So we're going to wait a little bit. That way we don't anger the gods. Goodbye. I think I saw like 1200 damage crits with the vices. GG. Hey, it's nice that I'm using more Vulcans. That was something that we're like, I I still don't like using Vulcans, but I'm learning to take advantage of their bursts. So that way, I have to deal with these bosses. And I think a lot of that just had to do with having low ATP. So I didn't feel like I ever got to combo kill with it. But now that we're at like near the end of the character's ATPs, we're not playing with like 130s, for example. We're doing pretty good. Dango leveled again. Congratulations, Dango. Dango just powering up. <laughs> Goodbye, Foey level 29. Uh, you know what? I'll pick you up. 
I lied. <laughs> A little shift to D band, nice. So we'll do at least one more. So overall, that quest net at 125,000 XP. Not bad. Put away the Yun Chang, mostly for new players. Didn't roll super well, so I'm probably not going to use it personally, sadly. Okay, I did cap defense material. I mean, look at this character's equipment. Blue Doshi Violet Nimidao, Smart Link, Heavenly Power just to get more ATP. Centurion to cap luck, add up for accuracy. Disgusting. There we go, next game is up. This character definitely gets XP at a slower pace. TT or RT just takes longer. TTF, 5-6 minutes less. And then on top of that, I do solo TTF. This character only does RT in a big group. But one day she'll hit 180. We'll probably still see these quests during uh, XP week. But definitely if there's new players, we might spend a couple hours. During XP week, helping new characters level. Because at least if we're in like normal mode, we shouldn't be there for too, too long. So that way we could still get decent egg odds. Let's see if that's good enough. Not bad, not bad. Goodbye, Lilius. I think if there's any other last minute quests I would potentially want to do on Saturday before it swaps over. It'd probably just be for like a Vivian or something randomly. Not even sure it would be for a uh, Rambling May. I think I got a pretty good one thanks to runs with Hellcleave as well as Hellcleave. So it's like I have two really solid ones. One more for the accuracy, one for the raw percentages. Having like a 55 dark Rambling May is kind of disgusting on the Fomoral. Like, I really need that ATP damage from the percentages. That lets me get very silly, normal heavy combos to kill. And that's the one I'll tend to use in single player on certain areas, just due to the fact that uh, the accuracy requirement is low, since I don't need this special. Goodbye, Mothbirds. So I guess the question to the group is, after this quest, what quests did you want to do? I could probably do a couple TTFs, or just two of some other quest, and that'll be our cutoff for the night. Since I got stuff I want to do in the morning. But hey, pretty good stream. Get out of here, Lilies.
Again, I still love the fact that normal, normal, normal kills. So silly. Or even normal power on a lot of these insta kills. Speaking of which. <laughs> This time I'm going to try to aim for the plate behind its head. Because then I can hit that with Jaya more consistently and kill it faster. <laughs> it's like I'm drilling into it, basically. Oh, there's the glitch. There's the glitch. I was going to say, we went a surprisingly long amount of time without seeing it. Okay, that should let me do direct damage with Jaya without needing to like break a plate now. Boss playing peekaboo for a second. Love to see that. Regen some TP while I wait. Oh! oh. Just... <laughs> Goodbye. I, I saw. I saw when my giant landed. GG. Get wrecked. Say so, hey, I participated at least. Dropped an HP material. Hmm. I guess I gear assault early. Like, I don't go all the way down. I just put myself close ish. So I could take like one hit. 30 hit berserk ray gun. Oof. Okay, we gotta line it up. Camera, please. I think this is good. I think I'm. I think I'm perfect. Ooh, my camera angle is slightly off, but it might not matter. Yeah, it didn't matter. Nice. <laughs> there we go. We've perfected the raft exit. Oh, I shot the switch. Oops. I mean, I guess that works. Yeah, so if needed, I can survive, like, a hit and, like, a gear of soul downwards. I kind of like that. Enemy just exploded. Love to see that. Yeah, that way it'll make the team wait for me to gear assault. You can also technically vice. I really need it. How did that not kill? So sad. <laughs> Tego says no. There we go. The grumpy face. Split. So close. I'm gonna go this way. See what Del Saber decides to do. Good enough. I'm like, it can't leap and hit us all if we split. <laughs> Stupid Del Saver hitbox, you don't make any sense. I think that should be good. 
Yeah, I think that's what I should do from now on. Just a couple of gear souls on the raft. Yeah. Be more efficient with our time. Oh, no invincibility. Come on. Alright, well, I gotta play the waiting game because any hit will kill me. Unfortunate. That means I also have to be careful if it lifts, which is kind of annoying. Rip Hulk leave. Needed to dodge that. Oh, I got he oh, I got healed. Oh. That sucks. <laughs> I don't know when I got rested other than I did get rested. Oops. Well, I can blame the team on that one. I definitely did not rest though. I thought it was out of range too. Rip. Because I saw when I, I saw I dodged it, so I didn't look at my health after that, and I was like, "Oh." Blue Dana says, "What happened?" Wow, Blue Blue Dana actually got it right. I think that's more of a shock. <laughs> you did it, Blue Dana. I'm trying to think if I want to add any more quotes to the Blue Dana generator. It'll just be like one or two more, or if I want him to react to the chat a bit more. I still like that one time where he was quoting somebody uh, about getting crucified or something randomly. Maybe have him go off every now and then? Sure, I could probably do that as an alert. Just trying to think if there's any other quotes. Maybe maybe I'll make a quote regarding the bathtubs. Honestly, that was that was such a <laughs> that one was like mind-bogglingly stupid. Like I'll remember that till the end of time about that game. That was the dumbest moment in the game for sure. Holy. Yeah, bathtubs. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we, we have that on highlight end clip. Honestly, what a ridiculous clip. I still can't believe they wanted you to take seriously the fact that they didn't know what boats were. And they were describing them as bathtubs. That was honestly like... <laughs> that, that was next level dumb. I was, I was not ready for that. It's one thing if they didn't know how to build like the warships, but like they didn't know like what a canoe was or a boat. I'm like, come on. Give me a break on this one. How do you how do you have an entire society by the river and go many centuries without a boat? Or another means to cross the river? I don't believe you. Like there's a plot reason why they don't know what they are, but at the same time it's like but then but but you fish. You're, you're like a coastal region, and you're near a river, and you, you don't even have canoes still? Actually mind-boggling. What a world. Yeah, I'm just starting to think if there's anything else that really captures Blue Donna. The hoes are in there for sure. Oh, it was Kaiser? Nice. 
I just remember, just remember Blue Donna saying it was the best, honestly. It was just, it was just like, it was after many hours, many hours, you just said it out of nowhere. Because, like, that comment was from, like, the beginning of the stream, and it got us right at the end. First 90% weapon you've seen it as a striker. As in attributes or a hit percentage? If that's a hit percentage striker, that's actually bonkers. Let me get a, uh, music check. King Boo. Uh, I mean, I guess... It, oh, I got healed again randomly. That's unfortunate. I was definitely not at full health a moment ago. Does this work? Okay, it does. at least. I'm just gonna try me, because I don't... I, I fully expect the boss to kill me if I don't do that. Yeah, my Dark Flow does a lot of damage. The problem is this phase. I have no faith in not getting tagged randomly. Especially if he goes up in the air and decides to Lightning Blast. Like, the Tornadoes are not terrible. This is, like, madness trying to dodge that. And also dodge the Tornado. Game, can you stop? Go away. 9 HP, nice. <laughs> Just like... What ridiculousness. There we go. Look at me. I'm in the cutscene. We... I would have to kind of skim over the playthrough again. I don't remember his dialogue as much. Most of it, m most of it was like 80% Huzz, to be fair. I think he only had like longer dialogue when he was talking to his uh, relative. He had a couple of dialogues with the villains, but honestly not that many. All things considered, he did not have long conversations with them. I'm just gonna heal up. I'm not messing around. <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna berserk it to death, but not needed. Let's see, most of those boxes are checked. Chat's opening those boxes. Nice. One box was missed. Please don't be relevant. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Put on music for the team. They've been surviving Olympics. Oh, I'm in the wrong room. That's right, I can't combo. So sad. Hmm. Do you need to build more meter? I'm only at 72. Might just do some power attacks here to save some time later. Get a little XP or event eggs in the process. Oh, I went from 72 to 77. That's not too bad. I like how I walk towards it on purpose and I still dodge it by accident. Jeez. Unlucky. Okay, I got hit. That's good. I want to get hit by that. 84 meter. Don't need too much more, at least. Hmm. 
88, not bad. So if I get punched in the face, I think twice by a robot, I should be maxed. That does build a lot of meter. Or if nothing else, I can build it on the chainsaw at the end. 71 was definitely too much meter to wait for. As long as I don't use Sacrifice, I'll build meter. Nice, 91 meter, not bad. Thank you, Vices. <laughs> Building that meter super fast. Oh. <coughs> oh, I forgot I missed a uh, box check earlier. My bad. I'll do the box check this time. 93 meter. I'm gonna let the team kill the Morphos. Those aren't really worth fighting unless there's a Lord for me. That also gives me an excuse to do the box check. The 93 meter, so I need to get it twice by the chainsaw or one punch to the face. Let's go ahead and spawn. Have a happy little journey through this wall. See any fun items in here? Nope. It's worth the check. Oh, because I debuffed them, I didn't get 100. Plan backfired. There we go. Timo builds some meter. Ooh, he's actually kind of hard to hit. There we go. <laughs> we just teleported in place. What an idiot. Anyway, 100. A gun year, 40 hit. No special. I keep seeing a lot of those. So, I mean, it's a good sign that I'm finally seeing, like, common items almost worth fusing? Question mark. I'll leave doing the dance. Okay. Let's see using twins. Again, this is sadly dependent on RNG, whether this kills for me. Just due to the fact my accuracy is not good enough still. Come on, red ring. Red ring levels, red ring levels. <laughs> is being able to land this, like, even 85% of the time would be insane how much faster this would kill. He got me. Stop that. <sighs> oh my gosh. The bait is real. I, I clipped him a little bit there at least. Oops. Whatever. I tried. See, so yeah, I think... I think I was a little too slow in my initial attack. I was trying to be cute and get a little extra damage in, but I don't think that was worth it. Maybe with VO to one, that would have been worth it. Just to clip him for another 80. It's not like you don't have like a million years to just like stack a foe or something stupid on him. Okay. So we're gonna go for the kill here. 
And I guess if chat has no other quests they want to do, I could just end with another RT. Goodbye. Could do one more, I guess. Another TTF is fine, yeah. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, let's just do one more of these, I guess, so I don't have to swap characters. Plus, this character needs more XP anyway. Even if it's not like a ton of ton. Zelda put her almost one art T away from leveling, and if I do that again during XP week, she will level. I do like that I earn enough Masetta that even though I use Jaya a couple times, I still go money positive. So we just we just have so much raw DPS on the team. It just doesn't matter. So yeah, one more. There we go. Switch to last one, because it's got better damage. And more looking to walk quickly between targets. Yeah, Dango hitting a whopping 186. It's just we're just giving him so much XP. And then he's earning it with that bleed cleaving. Sort of inventory. Curiosity, how close am I to hitting max ATA? Six ATA? That's not bad. So if I get like I don't know, in theory five or six levels. I might be able to replace that with the Centurion ability for more stats. Might be good. I think if there's any other quests that I've really been missing out so far in the Easter event, we've done Tyrells, we've done Retreat from Rescue from Regal, we've done Endless, we've done a lot of TTF. Oh, Rare Rappy, hold on, where is it? There it is, there it is, chat. Egg Rappy, the egg coming. Oh, chat just blew it away. Rip Egg Rappy. There we go, that's an exciting find. It's not going to drop anything of interest for me, but it's there. Egg. <laughs> now we're cooking the egg. <laughs> we shot the egg, now we're poaching the egg. Look at it. Like, you will give us a rare. <laughs> Everybody's guarding the egg. There we go. Easter egg. Not to be confused with a vent egg. Mysterious egg. What could be inside? Use. A more rose. Oh, is this the. Yeah, it's the card rose. There we go. I mean, weirdly and sadly, I could use this in the run in like a legitimate context. How much damage does this thing have? I imagine not a lot, right? Yeah, not a lot. Yeah, 
It's actually weirdly strong, mostly due to my ATP. Got Rabbit Wand, nice. I think that's used in a couple builds. I mean, if I hit with that power attack, that actually does really stupid damage on a single target. Like, can I kill you with just one combo with this? Almost. So I, I think, strictly speaking, Kunai is just a better version of this. Because it has actual stats with it. But, you know, I could technically use this to hit the, uh, Gal Griffin or whatever. So I could see people using this as, like, an early version, because it only needs MST, I guess. Kind of, like, discount Kunai. If this thing came with hit, it would have actually been super good. Like, not in, like, a meta sense, but, like, I would have used it in more scenarios for sure. Sadly, last one too strong. So there we go. I guess we got rewarded for our choice. So that's always nice. Another mono grinder. Let's use... Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I think things like Rabbit Wand and stuff go for plating, if I remember correctly. So that is kind of a wanted item from that standpoint. I know, like, the Cat Ears, Rabbit Ears, etc. also get involved. A 20-hit Jaya? Uh, uh, do I even drop anything? I guess I have a lot of escape dolls. Again, this is more for newer players. I'll pick it up. If it has no hit, I'm not going to pick it up for sure. But a little bit of hit is better than nothing. And it has A-Beast. So at least it's like relevant for what it aims for. See, are you gonna glitch to the right or are you gonna stay in front? We play the game with the worm every time we come here. Oh, the glitch. I didn't get any good clean hits though. I'm gonna hit the tail though to help the team do more damage. Didn't quite hit the right part, so I have to get a little, little lucky with Jaya later. So unfair. Leave me alone, tendrils. <laughs> I was like, go ahead. Rise up, see what happens. I think I think that Jaya did 5.5. I didn't get any crits there, but that was good damage. So at least I feel like I participate on some boss fights. I can't say that with all the boss fights that we do. Like Gal Griffin, I'm kind of like mediocre towards it. Alright, let's injure ourselves. Yeah, that way we have like a little safety HP. Well, um, I guess, well, mm. I'll heal how I cleave, and then I'm going to gear assault myself slightly lower. Yeah, that should be good enough. Uh, Unfortunately, I didn't line up correctly, but that's fun. I mostly just need to survive a stray hit. That's about it. Then I can gear us all like twice. So it still saves time overall, for sure. 
Lock one Gundam has found what? Parasitic Gene Flow. Hopefully that'll say Dango has found Parasitic Gene Flow at the end of this. We've been going for it. Getting a little unlucky. I feel like statistically we're overdue. Do you have to think about it this way? If it's like 1 in 64, right? And then you have a little bit of rare odds. Between four people running it, I would think in about 12 with the rare up, somebody should see it. I feel like we're going on number 12. So I was trying to do math very quickly in my head. I guess it would be 1 in 48, so you do 48 divided by 4. Yeah. Like between 11 and 12. Get out of there. After this, I'm going to double check the Hue New Rules max ATP because I am curious. Weaken it for Dango. GG. Aerosol once. Twice. Do I have Dark Flow? I do. Okay. Pestos fell L and K combat with 20 hit. Nice. A splinter in like the worst spot today. Every now and then when I grip the controller, I feel where I took it out. with the bonus health on top of that I would have lived so it does more than 600 to be total that's interesting because I feel like last time I, I put myself at four and I died and that time I was like 130 that still wasn't enough unfortunate this thing the many star itemized as I pick up in this area. There we go. So yeah, I guess while I'm waiting for the Gal Griffin to come down, I could do that. Use the rose. Tower Joe says, nice uni, didn't know I had one. Uh, I find her kind of hard to use. I feel like to me, she's probably been the most disappointing character, but it's, it's just like I'm slowly getting there. I think the big problem is like, she was one of my early characters. So it was like before she had like any good Jaya's, it was before she had any Adepts, and she didn't have like a Sami Bracer. So she just felt kind of underpowered. Compared to like the characters that got their power spike earlier. So like I want to take her to like more advanced areas, but she doesn't have like the frozen shooter equivalent or traps. So it's like debuffing them doesn't necessarily help. But uh for RT I think she's okay. So now that I have Dark Flow plus a good vice, 
she's doing fine. Last one, like, made her at least sort of usable before then. But hopefully you're doing well, Clock Tower Joe. I think you got a gift subscription earlier, if I recall correctly. Goodbye, Marilla. So mine is gonna do, but yellow. Mm. Goodbye, enemy. I feel like from this stamp, if you don't do New Hope, interesting. I feel from this standpoint with this character, it's like... I don't know, like, I don't really, like, blue ID runs, like, I'm not gonna do a lot of solo RTs. And she's... I don't really like playing her into, like, episode 4 surface. I would rather either have a cast in multiplayer or a force. So she's in kind of a weird spot ID wise. I haven't found like the hunt that makes it like super fun for me to play her other than RTs acceptable. So it's like one of those things I'm just trying to like work it out like she'll find a place eventually and definitely when she gets red ring you know red ring solves a lot of the character issues or like her like her uh growth ata is horrible rl was a good run with her rl goodbye geese Oh, Restless Line. Get rid of those. I have a little too much health. Should have been gear selling earlier. One more. So we're gonna smack the giant flying beast out of the sky. Then maybe we'll shame hit it with some rose. Yeah, there's portions of episode two I'm willing to explore. I think maybe at some point I'll do endless episode two. I haven't done that in a while. I did actually genuinely like that quest. I just, I don't know if I would blue eye. Well, I guess you could blue ID it, I guess. It was a little early. A little early. Uh, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna pop a try made. And you know what? See for being targeted. Nope. I believe in you, Rose. Ow. I believe in you, Tornado to the face. Boss is really making sure I don't approach, I'm noticing. I am tagging it every now and then for like 300. <laughs> I prefer Kunai for just doing stupid hits to Gal Griffin as I wait to actually do something. But it does damage. Uh, we're gonna run away from it. Now let's go punish it. How? That's fine. We're good. I I had it lined up and then the cursor swapped when I went to shoot, but I didn't touch a direction. That was weird. That threw me off. Anyway, time to run around. Spin in circles. I like the blue to match like the blue of the vice. So I like that like her class makes sense color wise she's using the stuff that matches her look is on don't need those so yeah, we're just gonna burst with the vice goodbye yeah that that 60 hit vice has been like the savior of this character so strong. Oh wait, I need to build meter. <laughs> Chat froze in midair. Uh, that works. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I just see the 1300 damage up there. I'm like, I'm not needed up there. 
Hopefully you've been doing well, Clock Tower Joe. Oh, somebody must have been looking at the Morphos. Unfortunate. Okay, moment of truth. Will I ever have to learn how to take the boxes up here? Nope. <laughs> Just, to this day, chat, I still don't know how to get there. Other than clearly a warp goes there. Yeah. I did want to build meter, but sadly. I think I could get hit by the robot here to build like 6 meter. Punch me real quick, giant robot. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it, giant robot. <laughs> giant robot has my back. If I just need to get punched for like 6 meter for the boss, it knows what I want. So I think like just a couple combos here and I should be basically at 90. Every combo is about a percentage and a half. So even though these are not mandatory. Oh, there we go. There's 90. Perfect. And I might as well kill those just for event eggs, I guess. Normally I would ignore those, but might as well as check. Yeah, 91 meter. Bell beater, I think, can give five or six points. That Del Beater went flying. Let's see, if I really want a meter, I could just shoot these normally. Ideally, I'll take one more punch in the face at some point, and then that way the enemy wastes his time fighting me. I love how that's my strategy. Just get in the face. I'm not even bother shooting them. Like, go ahead. I don't have a hell gun on this current character. I mean, I guess I can shoot these. There we go. 96 meter. Like, one punch in the face. Teleport. A double teleport. You got me. They're better than me, chat. I can still potentially get punched in the face. And get invincibility for a room. Ideally, I will not get hit in this room. I'm gonna go to the far side, just in case I get meter. I guess I could berserk to stop myself from getting meter. <laughs> I like that's my strat. Like, I'm hopefully gonna get hit once, and then we're fine. They're gonna take care of the Morphos. I just have to not trip the laser for people. Cool. So anyway, our goal is to check the boxes that are in here. And then maybe take a Sinnoh to the face, either in this room or the next room. But otherwise, our meter gain is basically on point. Like, there's very little extra I had to do to build it, which is nice. Oh, no items of interest. That's a shame. So yeah, getting it here could be useful. Did not get Mag Invincibility. That's a shame. Because getting it off of that box means I could have uh, face tanked this room. So unfortunately, I think I'm going to get knocked down. How much I could do about it. Well, I didn't mean to the bus all, but just in general. Alright, so we're going to walk forward and freeze. I think I actually stopped it from hitting me there. Wow. That was good spacing. Normally you just get smacked in the face with that. I'll take it though. Uh, it looks like Hellcleave is building meter. Hellcleave is attain meter. Teal Hellcleave. So we're gonna stand over here. I'm gonna say using twins. Excellent. Uh, so we have a little bit of RNG to believe in. 
If the game is kind to us, our sacrifice is gonna land and the boss will die almost instantly. But we'll see. Gotta gotta roll those gamble odds without red ring. Cause I mean, come on, if 60 hit vice doesn't guarantee the hit, can't really ask for much more in terms of accuracy. Music almost fits the boss. It's just having fun sliding around. I think it's like Delfino's Blouser or something. Okay, there we go. We landed it. We landed it. Oh, you're gonna be one of you're gonna be one of these boss faces, huh? Slightly out of range. Goodbye, boss. Switch back to our vice. And final. Rare chance of the night. See if we get anything. I'm waiting for the dreaded Easter egg. I feel like it's coming. We're overdue for a uh, Olga Flow Easter egg. Look at that damage. Goodbye. Had enough time to do almost two combos when the boss died. The DPS is real. Yeah, this puts this character pretty close to leveling again. And while we're doing that, we got time anyway. Hugh New World. See what her max stats are. They are 1237. So it's like at about 1240. That's fine. I just need like a little teeny bit. Because we were like not combo killing by like 10 damage literally. So I'm hoping between 20 ATP <laughs> I would do be able to do 10 more damage. With crits of, as well. So sadly no parasite to team flow. But hey. Getting closer to leveling again. Hellcleave now 167. Nigma now at 198. Pretty high up there in terms of XP. No parasitic genes that flow. Maybe one day. So we'll hold on to that Jaya for new player. At least it's a beast. Hmm. Guess I'll just continue to eat star atomizers. I'm sure I'll pick more up as we play later. in terms of held items 184 oh i have a lot of components i need to put away yeah we gotta we gotta put away some of these units as well i really don't need this many in the active bank for sure like i don't mind the pb creates and the cures those i don't mind having spares of and having like a spare heavenly battle for people that don't have it is fine but having like heavenly tp don't think I need that in my bank. Also, we need to put away these mother garbs on the correct characters. So yeah, we'll we'll clean up our bank in the future. Not, I think, by tomorrow, but we'll do a little bit. Twenty hit, twenty five hit charge Jaya. Thirty hit Disco. Thirty hit Disco is kind of nice. Thank you, whoever dropped it. So see you later, everybody. We'll talk about how we feel the stream went a moment. That is the final run. Uh, do I want to put away the vice? I probably do.
So yeah, so despite using Jaya, we have to go money positive again, which I find amusing. Just shows the difference of power, playing two player versus like four player. How much more money I save. It's kind of silly. But anyway, I see Google Bonker in the, in the lobby. Let's chat. So... Nothing too crazy rare-wise today. It was mostly just raw XP, lots of event eggs, decent amount of photon drops. We uh, are slowly leveling up the characters that do need the red rings that we have. I'm assuming at some point we'll get Parasitic Gene Flow or Red Ring again on stream. So we've been putting in the work. But PSO doesn't reward the work. It rewards only time. <laughs> All it cares is about is time, honestly. So, oh well. I almost thought we hit the end of the soundtrack there. That was wishful thinking. We're at 124 out of 163. But perhaps next time we'll finish. So yeah, I think, uh, I don't know. Stay tuned, chat. Maybe we'll do something Saturday. But I don't think I have anything to add for this particular session. So thank you all again to those that joined. And uh, hopefully... Uh, the giveaway of the different items help all the new hunters slash rangers that are receiving those items. So with that, we're going to say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in the next part.